Hey guys, Josh here, and welcome back to Story of Seasons, Pioneers of Aleph Town. It's been such a while, it's been such a long time since I played this game. I hope you guys are doing good. I hope if you watch the Nintendo Direct, I hope you've enjoyed what you saw. Uh, we're gonna be talking about that, but yeah, I hope you guys are doing good. We got a new member. Welcome to Lini Kuna. Thank you so much. Yeah, I'm a little bit sorry. Yeah, I'm a bit early. I was looking at the wrong clock and Sorry, I'm like two minutes early. We're just gonna wait a little bit until people can come in and Yeah, I need to press enter right Just gonna wait just gonna wait until six before we start People are going to bring up the direct a bunch. Yeah, I know I I'm gonna bring it up as well. Yeah, I hope you guys can hear me well. Hi Kim, hope you're doing good. Hi Neon Batman 626. Hi Cupcake Ninja, I'm doing good. What about you? So let's start. So what about the direct? Okay, so let's start by talking about what we're gonna do during today's stream, and then we can talk about the direct. So Yes, I'm gonna be playing Olive Town. I'm gonna be starting a new farm, but I wanted to try the PC version. So I bought I bought this game so many times now, but I just bought it for PC. And I just wanna see how it runs. And I wanna see how it plays and like if there are any notable differences. And eventually, not today, but eventually I would like to mud. Because there are actually some mods for this game. So I'd like to try out some mods eventually, which is kind of why I bought the game. But today we're just going to play the vanilla version of the game. When's the last time you played this? Um, the last time I played on stream, it was probably a few months ago. Uh, but actually a couple of days ago, I actually played just by myself. But yeah, it's been a, a while since I streamed. Hi, Blue Dart. Hi, Mika. Yeah, so there are mods if you're playing on PC uh, There's actually like a discord that has all the mods. I don't remember how I found it if you google like Olive Town mods you're gonna find I think on yeah I think on the steam page if you go in the discussions, I think there's a thread with the mods and Yeah, so we're gonna be trying anyway just no mods today. We're gonna be creating a new save file and okay right away um it's kind of weird you can tell that it was a console game before being a pc game because if you hover like as you can see i'm moving the mouse but it's not like selecting like you have to click to select something like usually in a pc game if you hover over something it's gonna like select it right it, so it feels a little bit odd it feels like it's not a pc game but anyway let's start a new save file so we're gonna play normal mode And so what did you guys think of the Nintendo Direct? For me, there were a few things that were interesting. So I'm really excited for Kirby and the Forgotten Lands. So I'm really excited for that. I'm happy. I'm excited for Earthbound because I actually never played Earthbound. So if I wasn't streaming right now, <laughs> I would probably be playing Earthbound. And so I'm probably going to do that tonight. And I'm excited. I, I really wanted to see a new Story of Seasons. Uh, but that's not happening, at least not yet. Maybe in the next direct. Yeah. So, what else? Mario Strikers is interesting. Oh, the new DLC for Mario Kart. I think that's the thing I'm the most excited for. Is the new courses for Mario Kart like eighty, like forty-eight? That's a lot. That's a, that's really a lot of courses. I think that's the amount of courses we have in the game right now. So it's gonna be like double. That's a little bit insane, and if you have the expansion pack, like, it's all included. I knew there would be more, like, DLC coming to the extension, expansion pack. I think I think the expansion pack is going to be really valuable uh, once there is more DLC to it. But, uh, yeah, it was not the best direct of all time. But it was pretty good, I think, still, right? I'm very happy we get new content from our... Yeah, and, like... I was a little bit scared because actually I bought Mario Kart like last week. <laughs> I didn't have Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. I had the Wii U version, but I didn't have the Switch version until like last week. And I was so scared it was going to be like a Mario Kart 9 announcement because I was like, I just bought Mario Kart 8. I don't want, 
I don't want to have Mario Kart 9 right away. I know it's maybe a little bit selfish. But actually, I'm yeah, I'm happy that they're just adding courses rather than like making a brand new game. I like it better that way, I think. Um, yeah, let's make a new character. So what I should be, I haven't played this game in a while. I want to make a character that looks a little bit different than the other two characters I made. I like these eyes, the energetic. Eyes. Should we go for like a cool or like cute? Mm. Okay, let's go for the energetic eyes. Skin color. I want to. Mm, maybe this one is fine. Right. I'm going to keep brown eyes. I'm hyped for that Fire Emblem game, they always hype me up, but this one actually looks fun, I'll probably fix the story. Is the story broken in Fire Emblem? I never, actually I never finished Three Houses, but also I have not played Fire Emblem Warriors, so I kind of want to play it before um, the new one. But yeah, what air haircut should I pick? I, I feel like I should pick... Mm, I feel like the short farmer. I feel like. I feel like there's not a lot of like male haircut. Like masculine haircut, should I say? I think I'm just gonna go. Yeah, it's really weird because it really doesn't feel like a PC game. Like you can't. Like usually in a PC game, you would be able to like take the little bar here and like scroll down. Or like you could use the mouse. Like you can use the mouse. Like I don't know. It just doesn't feel like a PC game. If. Anyway, uh, hair color. I haven't seen the PC version of this. It's not, it is, is it not going to lag like it's running on a toaster? Mm, uh, well, I think it should be running pretty fine uh, on my computer. Oh, I like this pink gold. Should I go for pink gold instead of, like, usually... Uh, yeah, I have Blossom Pink on my other save file. Oh, maybe purple? Should we go for purple? Maybe green? I've never had green hair. Well, I've never had purple hair neither, but sky blue. Um, what should we go for? I think we can probably purple, pink, green, purple, pink, purple, green, pink, pink, purple, green. Um, okay, guys, pick. Uh, wait, emerald green. Hmm. Tourmaline blue. Pink gold. Yeah, pink gold is pretty good, right? Hype for Rune Factory 5 next month. Yeah, it's coming soon. Do you play with challenge like the last time? No, uh, this time I'm just gonna play normally. And I kind of... Like, I never started a new save file with all of the updates and everything. Like, starting from scratch. So... I'm just gonna play normally. Green makes you look like the Rune Factory Far Cry. Oh, right. Okay, I can't spend too much. Sky Blue is kind of cute. Um, tour, tour, tourmaline, 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 tourmaline. I'm not sure what. That's probably some kind of. You know what? I think I'm gonna go with this one. Okay. 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 So pick wild or fresh. It's so hard. Okay, I'm gonna ask you guys. I'm gonna make a poll. Wild. Let's see. Oh my gosh, one with three people. I didn't think there would be so many. <laughs> I haven't streamed that game in such a long time. I didn't know there would still be that many people coming to the streams even after, like, so long after that game came out, right? Okay. It's pretty, pretty tight. Okay, let me check uh, my... Gonna go with a powerful bearing uh, outfit. We don't have too much choice. All right, let's end the poll. And let's see. Okay. 
They never talk in a way. Well, when you're farming, you do your little sounds, right? Wild. Okay, let's pick wild. Let's be wild. All right. Purple. Oh well, it's too late. Wait. Well, we can always change later. I'm looking forward to seeing the performance. Like, of course, that depends on your PC, but. I think it's gonna run better than on the Switch. I'm finally able to make it to a stream. Hi, Taco Cat. Welcome. I'm glad you're able to make it today. Um, I think I want to go. You know, actually, in the 1.1 update, uh, they added the. Is it a rabbit or a llama? There's an animal scooter, but like you have to, you can't start with it. But like once you're able to customize the scooter, you can get the. Is it a chicken or a llama? Anyway, some kind of animal. Uh, yellow is cute, but I had yellow in my other safe file. Blue, blue matches my outfit and my hair. Uh, maybe we should go, yeah, let's go with blue. Oh yeah, alpaca, you're right. Alpaca scooter. With a PC decent, decent enough to live stream, games like this should be no problem. Yeah, it should be no problem. I'm hope I hope so. If it's well optimized, it ran better than Switch for me. Well, that's good to hear. I love your streams and your videos. I started playing this game and I always watch your tips and tricks. Oh, thank you so much, Rosalie. Ro Rosalie. Rosalie. Yeah, I haven't made a Olive Town video in a while. So the next Olive Town video I'm gonna make. So I want to make some progress in that save file, and after that I want to try out some mods. So if you guys were not here at the beginning of the stream, um, you can download mods for the PC version. So I want to download some mods and maybe I can suggest you guys a few mods you can try. So ah, This brings back so many memories of like one year ago. I started playing this game, like the Japanese release was on February 22nd, I think. So pretty much like one year ago now. So... It's not that long ago, but it still brings me a little bit of a tiny little bit of nostalgia. You should have picked yellow because the scooter is a total lemon. <laughs> yeah. And who might you be? Did you come all the way here on that motorcycle? No, I didn't. Now, now, you mustn't fib. I can tell you did. Well, that must have been an arduous journey. Your poor motorcycle tells a story all its own. And you need not to worry about it. I can have the repairs arranged. I'll be taking it to a man named Clements who runs our tool shop. You can pick it up later once he's all done with it. Um, by the way, may I have your name? Yes. No. Oh. Okay, like this. I see, so your name's Josh, is it? That sounds so familiar, where have I heard? Oh guys, please start thinking about farm names, I need ideas. Oh my goodness, your birthday, it's uh, what is, uh, so my birthday is on the 3rd of autumn. November 3rd in real life. I remember now, autumn 3. Come to think of it, his grandchild will be 20 by now, ha! Huh? Then that would make you his grandson, yeah, yes. Of course, my apologies. I don't know how I could have forgotten when you're standing right in front of me. Goodness gracious. To think my dear old friend's grandson would find his way to Olive Town. Come on then. I'd be happy to show you to your grandfather's old farm. Yeah, I just started. You didn't miss much. The intro always makes me think of Alpha Sapphire from Pokemon because you're riding a bike. Oh, I didn't know that. I haven't played. The only Pokemon game I played was Sun and Moon. Is something the matter? Actually, let me guess. By the look on your face, you'd like to ask me, are you quite sure this is grandfather's farm, sir? And to that I would say, it is. When your grandfather lived here, this farm was a lush and beautiful place. Emphasis on the was, I'm afraid. Now, what was the name of his farm again? It's on the tip of my tongue. Your grandfather must have told you the name of the farm, surely. What was it again? Help. Help me guys pick a name. <laughs> Hello, Josh. I mailed your avatar wood burning today. Oh, thank you so much. I'm looking forward to... I'm guessing probably like next week or so I should receive it. I, I'm, I'm gonna let you know as soon as I do. Thank you so much. I'm looking forward to seeing it in real. Sprout farm or the tree branch farm because olives grow on a tree. What about olive farm? Yeah. 
Isn't that kind of boring? But I think we can go with that. Good evening, I hope everyone is doing well. Hi, Marth Chan, I hope you're doing good too. Interested in taking over the farm? Yes, well, I can't say I'm well versed on the subject, but I can at least teach you the basics to start you off. Thank you so much. Here you are, I'll pass these along to you. Thank you. These are tools for developing your farm. As I'm sure you are well aware, this farm has seen better days, but those tools will be the key to changing all that. Thank you so much. So press this and this to select an item in the item bar. You can use the highlighted items. Items you'll find, okay. I realize this is a lot to take in and it might be baffling at first. Take things at your own pace and you'll gradually grow accustomed to it. Ah. And do use the sleeping bag in your tent. If you find yourself exhausted from work, a good night's rest will restore your energy. Thank you. You're welcome to take some notes on all this for future reference. If you do, you can view them from the notebook in your tent at any time. Thank you. Following along so far, if you're unsure about anything, I can explain it to you once more if you'd prefer. I think we're good. Thank you. Excellent. Glad to hear it. I have some other things I should explain to you as well, but I'd rather not overwhelm you. Let's wrap it up here for today. First, I'd like you to try out everything you've learned. I'll be back tomorrow to teach you how to grow crops. Oh, and if there's anything about Olive Town you'd like to know, I'm the man to ask. I'm its mayor, after all. As a quick word of mayoral advice, I'd suggest you get acquainted with our residents. Leaving a good first impression is paramount, I always say. Now then, I'll be on my way until tomorrow. Bye-bye. All right. Oh my gosh, such a small, such a small little tent. So, yeah, I bought the DLC as well. Um, Alright, so we can move with WASD. And let's go out. Alright, so let's open our bag. Let's get some of our tools. So, wait. I hope you can at least... Okay. Ah, you can't like... That's that's really when you can tell it's like originally a console game. You can't just like drag something. You have to like click and like click somewhere. Like I just want to drag it like a, in a normal PC game. So that's another like difference you will see if you play the PC version. And like once again in the menu, like your your cursor doesn't hover over over stuff. Like like it's not doing anything, right? Anyway, just little details, but yeah. I wonder who I should marry this time. Oh, you can still, one good thing is that you can change your tool with the one, two, three, with the numbers. And you can also change with the mouse wheel. What are the specs of your computer as I've run into a few issues that could come down to my hardware? You know what? It's been <laughs> such a long time. I'm using a laptop. Um, and I have like, I think I have like 16 gigabytes of RAM and my, I know my processor is i7 something, but I, I don't know like in detail and the graphics card, it's not the worst, but it, it's not like a high end, but yeah, I don't have my, all of my specs on hand right now, unfortunately. I can post them after if you're on Discord. If you want to see like specifically what I have, I can post them on Discord or in the video description or something after if you want. I usually marry Laura. Yeah, I don't know who I'm gonna marry, right? I'm used to playing the Japanese version of the game. It's kind of weird to hear the <laughs> the voice is so the voice of your character is so different. All right, so Lugstone. All right, no problem. So I think we can get the chicken. Uh, we can repair the barn, the coop in the first day, right? That shouldn't be too much of a problem. Yay, level up. All right, just a little bit more. 
I'm salty, can't marry Beth and Lars. I said I said what I said. Well, you know what, actually, so I was speaking of mods earlier. Apparently, there is a possibility to have mods that add marriage candidates. No one has done it yet, but it is something that's possible. So if, if any of you guys are interested in modding, please look into it. Uh, but it's something we might we might have someone making that mod in the future. All right, so I've got all of my wood. The aiming is a little bit off, like. I wish Iris' story was better. I might marry Reyna on my next full playthrough. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I should try to marry one of the DLC characters, right? But the thing is, like with the DLC characters, even though they can kind of join the events of some festivals after you're married, it feels like it never... Oops, I, I need to get stone actually. It, it never feels like they're really part of Olive Town, right? Because they never, like, they're never gonna walk around in Olive Town. They're never gonna join, like, all the festivals. So that kind of makes me want not to marry one of them. But we'll see. Jack is pretty cool too. And yeah, we need those mods like that. Yeah, hopefully. Like. The modding community is like pretty small for this game and like this series as a whole. Because uh, I know Mineral Town and Doraemon can be modded as well, but there's really not. There's really not a lot out there. Maybe I should pick up programming and I, I, I should start making some mods or something. Alright, just one more. Do I need 30 or 2? I think I just need 20 stones, right? Ah. Phew, just. Oh no, that's iron. Oh gosh. Um, okay, let's eat something. Oops. Oh, that's useful. Okay. Um, okay, let's eat something. So there should be onions, right? Yeah. Let's ha let's just have like one onion. Up. Like, oops. I recommend use controller if you have one. Yeah, I don't. Well, I have a pro controller, but yeah, it's fine. I, actually, the goal of today's stream was to try to check out the differences between the PC version. So I wanted to play with mouse and keyboard to see if they had made like any changes. But actually, they really did not adapt the game well to mouse and keyboard. Um, Chicken. All right, so we got our first chicken. How should we name her? You can change the key bindings I did to make my gameplay much smoother. Oh, maybe I can do that later. It's not, I mean, it's not too bad, but you, you can, you see, it's just like you can tell it's a console game that they ported to PC. KFC or Popeyes, oh, that's cruel. Nugget. Chicky, uh, I always name, name my chicken house Chuk Chateau. That's cute. And Moo Mansion for the cubs. Yeah, maybe Chica. Chica is cute. <clears throat> Let's. It's kind of weird. Like when I can. Oh. Let's go with Chica. You can have Chica, Chiki, Chico. All right. Lotus and Lizette are cool, but if you've played through Towns, they just feel like shadows of their former selves. Oh, that's kind of sad, right? Oh, I got an achievement. All right. Nice, nice, nice. So we need to uh, get some folder. Let's get some folder. Actually, let's get some of this. So is this shop? gonna be open today okay let's go out I don't remember if there's any oh if you press shift you can walk slowly mm. 
Don't pay for fodder, why not? Oh, my, oh, do I get one from the... The rewards thing? Yeah. That's what I'm gonna do. Oh my gosh, there's already so much stuff in here. Tuesday is closed. Oh yeah, you're right. Okay, let's meet everybody. My old man told me all about you, you're just right. I'm Jacopo. In case you haven't guessed, I'm the mayor's son. I got a gig working on the ferry. Pleasure is mine. It's so nice to like... Being able to see their faces, finally. And you, Josh. I heard about you from Victor. I'm Simon. Simon. My daughter took over the general store for me, though I still help her out. I helped pioneer this land with your grandfather, you know. Those were the days. My, my. Hello there. And you are? Gracious, you are Josh. Now that I think of it, you do look quite a bit like your grandfather. My name is Jesse. I was good friends with your grandfather, you know? I wanted to marry Jacopo. I was really sad when I found out he wasn't a candidate. Yeah, I feel like everybody wants to marry all the people that are not candidates. Enchanté, I'm Karina, a stylist. I just moved to this town too, funny enough. We should help each other get settled. Nice to meet you, Karina. Oh, already level 2 in communications. Wow. That's the one thing I I kind of was sad about this game. The characters don't feel pivotal. Blacksmith doesn't need quests to do all upgrades and the mirror's not leader. Like, yeah. Yeah, the close-up on the faces are nice. All right, so now we've got a ton of stuff. Okay, let me sell the little metals. Like this, yeah, and this, and this, and oh, we got fences already. Okay, everything else I'm just gonna keep, and I'm gonna feed my little chicken, and then after that, I think, <clears throat> sorry, I think after that, I'm gonna go to sleep like this. Wait, I don't remember. How come I don't remember this? Um, if you bring your animals outside, they're gonna eat automatically, right? But I think it's at... I think they eat... Do they eat at 9 a.m. or 8 a.m.? I don't remember at what time they eat. Get the fishing rod. Oh, yeah. You motivated me to complete this game. Yeah, it's a fun game to complete. You should finish the museum and the encyclopedia. <clears throat> well, now you've got the look of someone who hasn't gone fishing before, am I right? Not to worry. This is a good an opportunity as any to learn. I'd be happy to teach you if you'd like to try. Here, for starters, I'll give you this fishing rod. It was just lying around my heart, my house, and I'd rather it be put to good use. 9 a.m. before they eat the photo. Yeah, exactly. You can cast out your fishing rod as long as you're facing a body of water. Okay, yeah, I know how to fish. Thank you. Simply face the water throughout your line. Thank you so much. All right, let's meet everybody. Emilio, how are you? You come here to sightsee. I can guide you around if you want. Oh, you're the one who came on that motorcycle, Josh, right? I'm Emilio. Don't you go forgetting it now, okay? I won't. Hola! Nice to meet you. I'm Marcos, a fisherman, and you're Josh, right? We're a tight-knit community here. Everybody, everyone knows everyone. Come by and shoot the breeze sometime. Good to meet you. Could you be the new owner of that farm? You're Josh, right? Yes. Alright. So we met everybody. Hello. Hello. We haven't met before, have we? Oh, so your name is Josh. I'm Raul. It's a pleasure to meet you. Hi, Josh. Hi, chat. Hi, Liz. Hope you're doing good. She was my second choice for marriage after 
Jacopo. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? What the f? When she also wasn't available. Yeah, I don't know why so many people want to marry. Um, Lars and Clements and Betts and Jacopo. I haven't heard a lot of people. I haven't not heard a lot of people wanting to marry Jacopo. I think you're the first one, Liz, that I hear mentioning that. Oh, General Store has expanded its product lineup. Now then, it's time to explain how to grow crops, but first, you'll be needing these. Thank you so much. These will be your basic tools for field work, so take good care of them. Seeds can't be planted on... Uh, till, yeah, I'm actually, I, I, I know how. There's just something about him that's so adorable, I don't know what it is. <laughs> what about Victor? Alright. Let's go plant our first seeds. Yeah, so they added this in the in one of the updates, right? So now you can hold shift and it makes it a little bit easier to aim. I wanted to marry Beth said no redhead candidates. Yeah, right. Like this and like this. Oh, my bag is f already full. Okay. All right. So I'm going to try to... Well, I'm not going to focus too much on the layout right now. I'm just going to do something like really simple. Just going to keep it simple for now. Like this. But eventually I'm going to try to do... I'm probably going to try to do a layout that's a little bit different than what I had on my other, other farm. Going to try to be creative if I can. How come Victor isn't old when Simon and Nigen are? Victor is kind of old, I think. Vic I think Victor is pretty old, looks pretty old. But I don't think he was there when he founded the... Was he there from the beginning? By any case, he's... He looks pretty old. Ah, this feels so good to be like starting every time you start a new story of seasons game Like the beginning of the game always feels so good Just like planting your nine little crops and like watering everything one by one and like Everything is so simple. Oops. <laughs> you can't I forgot you can't fill up your watering can in the water in the ocean I build my plots along the mountain walls by the mine. I can get three five by five next to each other. Yeah, I'm for for now. I'm just gonna do stuff here, but yeah. And cherries. I I never like planting my fruit trees early. In these games, because I know I'm gonna demolish them. I'm gonna cut them. I'm gonna move them or something. But it is what it is. So I'm gonna. Mm. You know what? I'm gonna plant it here. Probably not a good idea. I don't know. But it is what it is. So let's go check on our little chickens. And then we're gonna do some cleaning up of our farm. I'm surprised you started over. Yeah, I kind of surprised myself too. Actually, the reason is because I want to play... Oh, my bag is full. I want to download... I wanted to download some mods. So I, I just bought the PC version last week. So I kind of have to start all over again. Okay, I'm gonna have to make a chest. It's a zero star, gonna have to cut it down eventually. Yeah, eventually, uh, for sure. Right. Alright, so let's just clean up a little bit 
Even though things are gonna spawn back super quickly. What mods do they have for this game? Oh yeah, oh, I should have... Oh, too late. Yeah, I forgot to take out my chicken. Um, what I was gonna say... Yeah, there are a few mods, like... Some of them are just like affecting the camera. Like you can zoom out or zoom in a little bit more. Other mods are like... Just like changing certain stats, like the time at which you wake up, or like... I think some of them allow you to stack more things in your inventory. Like, there's a few, like, I haven't looked too much into it yet. Because I need to, like, actually start playing first. So, I didn't download any mod right now. So, I'm going to be doing that later once... Once I have some progress made in that save file. Because if I download mods now, there's not going to, like... There's not much I can do right now, right, for, like... Testing out, testing out mods. Do you think it runs better on PC? Well, so far it's running pretty smoothly. Um, but of course, my, there's not much on my farm. But I would say, and like, it's gonna depend on your specs of your PC, but I, it, it does run pretty well. So far, so good. Sorry, I was <laughs> just looking at the chat, so that's why. Just gonna clean things up even though it grows back. I don't know if there's... I think there's a possibility to have some mods that make things not spawn as fast, like the trees and the rocks. Uh, I don't think that's a mod that anyone has made yet. But that's the kind of mod that people could make. So... If I start making videos on like mods, maybe some people, more people will start actually making mods for this game. It will be nice if they have a mod that upgrades the farm decorations, like allows turning items. Oh yeah, someone needs to make a mod to rotate items. Alright. Okay, let's just sell a few things. I'm just going to put my hole away. Okay, all right. Any huge improvements? Not really improvements. Uh, so far, what I've noticed is mostly like you can tell it's not designed as a PC game. So, for example, if you're in the menu, like you can't hover over things with your mouse. And like, you have to click everywhere. Like it, it really is better with a controller than with a keyboard and mouse. So you can tell it's like a console game first. Uh, so I have not noticed like any improvements, but in terms of performance, it's going well. So I guess there's that. And you can download mods. So that's another thing. Maybe we can do some fishing. And, like, you can't, like, just drag and drop. You have to, like, click everything. Like. So, yeah, with Dragon, playing with a controller, even if you play on PC. Oh, let's try the fishing. Let's see how the fishing is. Rotating furniture is something the devs should have thought of. It definitely, especially as, like, I mean, in pretty much all other... Oops. So you just uh, hold the left click. In pretty much all of other like Harvest Moon and Story of Seasons games, they always had item rotation. So I'm not too sure why they took it out. Like it's such a basic, like the most basic thing when it comes to like, if you want to add like decoration mechanics, like that's, that's like the first thing you should have is rotation, right? Anyway, yeah, maybe someone can do a mod for that. I don't know how hard that would be. But I think there's probably a better chance of, like, someone modding it into the game than the developers actually <laughs> updating the game to add it. So, I just hope the next... 
the next story of season is gonna be a bit more polished. I hope. I was kind of hoping in the in today's Nintendo Direct to have some news about the new Story of Seasons game, but nothing yet. Well, usually they've been releasing a game pretty much every year or every two years. So, I think by the end of 2022, we might not necessarily get a game this year, but I think we'll probably hear about... We're probably gonna get some news sometime this year, I think, about a new game. You can tell they rushed this pad to compete with One World. I don't even think... I don't know, yeah. Because I, I don't feel like they even compete. Like... Olive Town is still like a thousand times better than One World. And like, I think One World... I think One World did not even... I think the Harvest Moon... Harvest Moon games don't even release in Japan. The Natsume Harvest Moon games. So I don't think they're really competing that much, to be honest. I think it was just more like a coincidence than anything else. You know what's not finished looking? How's decorating in general? So much empty space. Yeah, yeah, there's so much empty space. Okay, let's sell our little shrimps. Ah, it feels good to be playing this game though, even though I'm um, <laughs> complaining about a few things actually, it's pretty fun. Should I put my chicken coop? Yeah, let, let's, let me put my chicken coop in that little corner there. Do I have something to eat? No, I don't have anything to eat. Okay, let me just chop that tree here. No, no. Um, get to... Uh, wait. Is it gonna fit? I think it's not gonna fit. Oh yes, it does. All right, let's place this here. I do love this game too. I just want these mods made to fix the faults. Yeah. Hopefully, hopefully we can have some nice, like, Hopefully the modding community can get bigger. Uh, so I want to make a chest, so I need five planks. Oh my gosh. Okay, that's gonna take a little while. Alright. Alright, 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 alright. All right. So I don't... Okay, let's go talk with people because I don't have too much energy. You should take your fish to the museum, it's in town. Yeah, I, I know, but it's just for now, I think I want to prioritize making money. Because uh, the museum, you don't get any reward. Well, you basically don't get any reward uh, for the museum. So I'd rather sell my fish at the beginning. Oh, let's see if we have any new rewards for maybe getting a few fish. Father drops when you pick up coop. Oh, did it? Did it drop? Oh my gosh, already so much stuff. Isn't it that kind of easy to get like all that free money with the medals at the beginning of the game? So let's chat. Let's check the general store. Maybe we can buy some seeds with our money. Ah. Buy goods. So I think I'm gonna go with. There's so much. I've been playing Harvest Moon 64 recently. Uh, and there's not that many seeds in Harvest Moon 64, so it's like a big, a big jump. Uh, so I think I'm gonna go with cucumber. They take a bit longer, but in the end, it's gonna be worth it. So maybe nine cucumbers. Uh, oh, you know what? Uh, yeah, just nine cucumbers. I'm gonna make some space, and then I'm gonna come back. All right, let's sell that. And sap. You know what? 
just you know what maybe i should keep you know what i don't need, really need sap okay let, let me just buy a few more seeds Um, maybe, 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 onion, nine, oops, eight, and what about turnips? All right, that should be a pretty good start, and I don't have any more stamina. Yeah, that's one thing at the beginning of this game, your stamina runs down so quickly. I just why did you decide to start over um so i decided to start over because i wanted to try out the pc version uh, i said it a few times but i'm i want to uh -huh. oops what did i give her i wasn't looking i gave her something um yeah i want to download mods so that's why I, wa I wanted to try out the pc version so i kind of have to start over so that's just why I should plant the tea bush to make drinks with later. Yeah, I need. I really need to upgrade my house quickly to get a kitchen. And yeah, planting tea that would be nice. So let's. Um. Yeah, I don't have too much. Too much. Um, stuff to do. Oh yeah, here's the folder. Oh. Okay, let me just sell some stuff. Yeah, we need to make a chest. You know what? Mysterious bait. I don't really need... Yeah, I don't need that. That's actually pretty good money, right? So let me just sell that. I'm gonna put my folder back and then I'm gonna go to sleep. Tomorrow we're gonna plant our crops. Yeah, you really don't have too much energy when you start this game, especially as, like, there's so much cleaning up to do. Like this. And tomorrow I'm gonna make sure I put my chicken outside. Any mods you're really excited about? So, so far there's not that many mods in the game uh, available. Uh, there's a few mods that, like, change certain stats or, like, that change the camera or things like that. Um... There's not the, there's like two or three people making mods for this game right now, so there's nothing like really big. But I haven't delved like too much into it so far, so This is so nostalgic. I remember watching all your strategy videos during lockdown. Oh yeah, this is bringing me back so many memories as well. Top of the morning to you. I hope you're ready for another lesson. Yes, today I thought I'd be it would be wise to teach you a bit about using raw materials. Unfortunately, I'm not what you would call a specialist, so I've enlisted the help of Nigel, our local carpenter. Good morning, Josh. My specialty is housing and furniture, you see, but I know enough about materials to teach you a thing or two. Have you been picking up logs and stones? You can craft all sorts of useful things with them. You could turn them into a fence for a livestock for one thing. If you're gonna run a farm, I'd say that's pretty good use. Naturally, you'll figure out other ways to utilize your materials. Yeah, so actually, I already crafted a few things, so I'm fine. Keep bait. Well, and honestly, I don't use. Oops. Honestly, I don't use bait too much in that game, unless like at the very end, like for the rare bait, the the guardian bait. Is it called the guardian bait in the English version for like the guardian fish? Uh, beside that, I never use the bait. So let's do that. Yeah, all right, that's good. And then let's take our hoe. Yeah, I'm gonna need need to get a bigger bag. I don't like. I know people keep telling me to put my tools away, but I don't like putting all of my tools away because you always need. Like, I guess I could put my fishing rod away. But everything else, like, I use every day, so I don't want to put away every time. I know that's, like, one thing people always tell me. <laughs> Anytime I play this game, I put your tools away, put your tools away. But honestly, I just like the convenience of having my tools. Oh, yeah, I need to take my chicken outside. 
Have a good day, Josh. All right, pausing. Have a good day. All right, like this, and then six for our turnips. I think we should have enough stamina to do all of that. Is the PC keyboard to use versus console? So, yes, I'm playing with keyboard and mouse now, and the game is definitely not well adapted for keyboard and mouse. So, even if you play on PC, I would recommend playing with a controller. But like, it's not bad, but it's just they didn't make that many adjustments to make it work well with keyboard and mouse compared to like a proper PC game. So if you can play with... Uh, like I just want to drag and drop the cucumber seeds, but I have to click, like, click twice. Actually, I have to click three times. You have to click once to... Like, you have to click once to select and like click two and like... You have to click three times basically, right? So that's just one thing to keep in mind. Have you played Pokemon Legends Arceus? It's really cool. Yeah, I've heard so many great things about it. I'm kind of tempted to buy it now. At first I wasn't sure, but now everybody's talking about it and I kind of want to buy it. But to, I have just so many games I have to play. I think I'm probably going to buy it at some point, but I'm probably going to wait a little bit more just because I have too many games to play. I always keep my tools on me as well. That's good to hear, Lucy. I'm glad I'm glad I'm not the only one. Sometimes I feel like I'm the only one doing that, but I, I, I like having them nearby and like I can switch my tools easily, quickly. Just subscribe. Oh thank you so much, I see. Thank you for subscribing. Also, feel free to leave a like on the stream. It really helps, like, when there's a lot of likes after, when after, after the stream is done, there's always so many more people, like, that can get the stream recommended to them and they can watch the video later. So, feel free to leave a like. And also tomorrow, guys, um... Tomorrow on Discord, we're going to be doing a game night. We're going to be playing Sunhaven. I don't know if many of you guys have Sunhaven. But we're going to be playing Sunhaven. So uh, if you're not on Discord, there's a link in the description. Feel free to check it out. And even if you don't have Sunhaven, you can still watch and enjoy the game with us. It's going to be a lot of fun. It used to drop their friendship and stuff. Now we don't have penalties really for fainters. Oh, I used to hate when Pokemon of Oh, okay. I, I thought it was something in Star of Season. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know too much about the Pokemon mechanics. I haven't played, like, since Sun and Moon. I played, like, basically Pokemon Stadium on the 64. I played Pokemon Snap, the the old the 64 one and the Switch one, and Sun and Moon, and that's pretty much it. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to playing Arceus one day. Um, should we go? Oh, we're doing pretty good. We still have a lot of stamina, so I'm gonna clean things up a little bit more. And once the cleaning up is done... Oh, I may pick up my egg, actually. Maybe we can go check out the DLC characters, see how they're doing in their little part of the world. Oh, maybe we can... Actually, I'm, I want to go get my camera. Can we go get my little egg? Last I played was X and Y on the 3DS. Yeah, that's a while ago, right? Was X and Y, was that the one just before Sun and Moon? Obligatory playthrough of Towns if you haven't already comment. Yeah, that comment always comes up. Actually, I'm gonna play True of Towns soon. So I bought... I bought the game. I have the game. But I don't have the 3... I don't have my 3DS right now. But this weekend... I'm gonna do a 10 hour drive. I'm gonna go to my mom's place. I'm gonna go pick up my 3DS, my Wii U, my PS3. I'm gonna come back and when I'm back home, I'm gonna play Trio of Towns or any of the other 3DS. I don't know, I bought all of the DS and 3DS Harvest Moon slash Story of Seasons games and I don't know which one to start with. I feel like if I start with Olive with Trio of Towns, everything else after is gonna feel like underwhelming. So I feel like maybe I should finish with Trio of Towns. I don't know. 
Pardon me, yes, you over there might uh, have a moment of your time, yes. Olive Museum was established so that tourists the world so that tourists the world over could view some of the splendors or town halls. As you can see, however, we currently have few spectacles to attract our visitors with. It's quite the conundrum. For a while now, I've considered making art of the local wild animal wild animals, but I don't have the resources I need. I have a request for you. If you've the time to do so, would you be able to take pictures of those wild animals? Yes. Long drive, but worth it. Yeah, I kind of don't want to do the drive. Um, I could go by plane, but the problem is, like, I've, there's so much stuff I want to bring up. Like, bring I want to bring back, like, so many consoles and so many games. Uh, so us usually I always just fly there, but then I can't bring back as much stuff. So I'm gonna, like, rent a car. And, like, renting a car for me is more... Uh, it's, it's just time-consuming, uh, anyway. Anyway, so, alright, we got our camera. So, uh, we can take some pictures, like the little birds, the little squirrel, the easy ones. Um, alright, so let's meet everybody. Hello. Oh yes, I've heard of you, you are just correct. My name is Gloria, I curate the museum. You are welcome to peruse our exhibits anytime the mood strikes you. Are you Josh by any chance? Thought so. I heard from Mayor Victor that she came here from the city. I'm Reina. I work at the museum. Let me know if you ever... Something. Uh, and Beth. Um. Hello, you're Josh, right? My name is Beth. I'm something of an archaeological enthusiast. I'm on the hunt for antiques in this town. I'm only a guest staying at the hotel, but in any case, it's a pleasure to meet you. Pleasure to meet you, too. Airports mean COVID. Well, I'm a flight attendant, so, like... I pretty much fly all the time anyway, so like for me, it's just it is what it is But yeah, it's gonna be worth the long drive. Will you be streaming your 3ds games? Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be streaming the 3ds because it's just Hard like if I want to stream 3ds games, I would have to play on an emulator But I want to play I don't want to play them on my computer So I don't know I'm probably maybe film some footage somehow and like maybe I can make like reviews or like videos or something but I feel like streaming is going to be a little bit tricky How am I just now learning this? I don't know. I talk actually I talk about it in quite a few quite a few streams so I don't know. Domestic or international, so it's always different. Uh, recently, there's not that many. When I started, so I started in 2019. When I started, oh my gosh, this is so sensitive. I did a lot of international. And then I got laid off in 2020, and now I just came back at the end of last year. But now there's not that many flights. So I've been working mostly domestic in the last few months. But it's still a lot of fun, so even though... Like, Canada is pretty big, right? So I still get to go to, like, places I wouldn't go usually, like, you know? Places I wouldn't go, like, in my everyday life usually. So let's go check on our DLC people. Yeah, it's so hard to get footage from a 3DS. And, like, I don't want to, like... Start a save file. Like, I want to play on my 3DS, like, play in bed or, like, play when I'm traveling or something. But then if I want to get footage correctly, like, easily, I would need to use an emulator. So I couldn't, like, carry my save file, so... Make sure to download the extra content for Throw of Tons. It's only 8 bucks and totally worth it. Yeah, the only thing I have to check, though, because I have a Japanese 3DS. And the 3DS is region locked, and I think... They were closing the eShop in January, or I'm not sure, I'm gonna have to look it up for the Japanese uh, 3DS. I'm so happy to catch you live again, and even happier you are playing this game. Well, I'm happy you're here, Ruby. Well, I'll be a visitor, it's quite a treat to see new faces around these parts. This here is Windswept Falls, it ain't much, but feel free to take a load off. Thank you. You get a lot of extra dialogue, and I think some extra costumes. Nice, I'm gonna try. Hopefully I can manage to get it. Alright, let's meet everybody. Dunhill. Well, well, we meet again. Name's Dunhill. I'm what you might call a drifter. Oh, 
So you're a farmer, eh? I used to do a bit of farm work myself when I was younger. Destiny must have brought us together. I'm sure you and I will be fast friends, Josh. I am sure of that. So happy to finally catch you live. I watched just about all of your videos. Hi, Audra. I'm glad you're able to catch the stream as well. No one here for now. Yeah, lots of people today. I'm surprised that... Like, it's always surprising. Like, I never know whenever I'm going to stream. I never know if there's going to be, like, how many people are going to be joining. Especially when I, like, haven't played this game in such a long time. This is the first time we've met, isn't it? My name is Felicia. So you're from Olive Town. What kind of food would you recommend trying over there? I love anything and everything delicious. Do let me know if you have any recommendations. Do I have any? No, I, don't have, I don't have anything interesting for a gift. Uh, let's see if there's some... I think sometimes the fox can be here. Not today. Hi, Hina. Hi there, I'm Hina. It's nice to meet you. You're just from Olive Town. Okie dokie, I'll do my best to remember that. Hehe. <laughs> you should come play with me sometime, promise? Promise. And let's go see Neil. Yo. Yo! What? You want something? You're Josh and you run a farm in Olive Town? Cool, okay. See you around. What? You wanna know my name? It's Neil. Don't feel like you have to remember it though. Alright. How did you learn Japanese? You are awesome. <laughs> Thank you so much. So I used to live... I studied and like worked in Japan for like two years and a half. So... That's how I studied a little bit, and like I bought my 3DS when I was there, so I bought a lot of games there, and my 3DS is region locked, so... Yeah... Your reminder popped up on my wall, that's how I knew. Nice, I'm glad you got... got a reminder for the notification for the stream. It seems we have a guest, yes, this is Terracotta Oasis, I hope you enjoy yourself, honey. Thank you. I love the music in this area. I love the music in all of the DLC areas, actually. No one here. How can you zoom in and out in the PC version? I want to see how you can... Uh, I want to check... Oh, do we have the... Oops. Oh. No, I'm, I, no, I'm fine. I, I want to see if everything is like max. Yeah, I think everything is like... There's not that many settings. Ah, uh, keyboard. I want to see... How we can zoom in, zoom out. Oh, move field camera down. Oh, with the arrows? Oh, field... Oh, V. Oh... Wait, I feel like the texture... Did I change something with the textures? No, I think it's fine. Okay. Does it look blurry to someone else? I feel like it looks blurrier than before. Wait, did I... Wait, I think I changed something, right? No, it's the same as before. Okay, I, f I, I feel like it doesn't look as good as before. Good time for a stream, I think, after work and school for US and Canada. Yeah, usually I always stream. Most of the time I stream around this time. That sucks if they close it. I think if they close, then the extra content should download for free. But no, <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. I don't think we've had the pleasure. Did you come from another town? I see your name's Josh. I'm Rigger. I recently came here. It's nice to meet you. Do you need something for me? You're Josh and you're a farmer. I see you must be a fan of mine. What? You don't know you don't know me? Giorgio? The most charismatic farmer in the business? Mm, I suppose I still have ways to go. It's not feeling Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, wait, let me fix that. That's my OBS that messed up actually. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. Uh, uh okay. Okay, it should be back to normal now. Wait, no, wait. That's my OBS that's messing up a little bit. Okay, it should get back to normal. Okay. Okay, it's fine now. Okay, sorry about that. Thank you so much for pointing it out, actually. I didn't 
<laughs> Didn't notice. Uh, oh my, we meet again. Well, well, you're just right. Yes, sir. Certainly the picture of a strapping young farmer. Marvelous. I'm Marian. I'm making my living as a doctor. It's so nice to meet you, honey. Nice to meet you. And now we just need Iris. Iris, Iris. Oh my, you're a charming one. Your name is Josh and you're a farmer. I see. I'm Iris. I work as a hee hee. I'll leave that up to your imagination. Alright, so we just want one. We just have one more area to visit. And I, I'm probably never gonna come back here again. I don't know. I don't know who I'm gonna marry, so I might come back. Uh, travel to a special location, Twilight Isle. They need a female doctor. I thought a pink haired dude was a girl at first, but turns out it's a guy. Yeah, you know what? I also didn't know that. Until I made I made a gift guide video video for these villagers. And I kept seeing like she and her. And everybody pointed out that Marian was a guy, and I had no idea. Aloha, this is Twilight Isle. We only just moved here, but you're welcome to take a look around. I think there are a few games though that have female doctors, right? I don't remember which one. I think some of the DS or 3DS games have female doctors. Hmm, who are you? Oh, a farmer, are you? And your name is... They all say the exact same thing. My name is Moria. I reside here on Twilight Isle, or at least I will for the duration of my travels. Oh, you're a farmer and your name is Josh. Oh, you're a farmer and your name is Josh. Oh, you're a farmer. Your name is Josh? Okay, let's meet everybody. Still blurry for me, but my connection drops. Yeah, I think it should be maybe your connection. If it's still blurry now, it should be your connection. Why is everybody? No one's inside. Excuse me, but who are you? I'm a farmer and my name is Josh. Oh, so you're Josh the farmer. It is a pleasure to meet you. My name is Tigre or Tiger or Tigre or... We're only staying here on Twilight Isle for a short time, but I look forward to getting to know you. Aloha, we meet again. Are you from this area? My name is Josh and I'm a farmer. You're a farmer, huh? Well, I'm Ludis. It's nice to meet you. I'm traveling around to broaden my horizons. If you have time to teach me about the area, I'd be mu it would be much appreciated. And who's the last one here? I forgot who's the last one. <clears throat> There's someone else, right? I just... Wait. I forgot who's the last character. Wait, so these two Tiger, Moria, Ludus Oh yeah, Lisette Completely forgot about Lisette Hi howdy. Oh, howdy there, are you from Aleph Town? Yes, my name is Josh and I'm a farmer I see, you're a farmer and your name is Josh, yes It's so nice to meet you, my name is Lisette I came here very recently so I'm still getting used to everything But it would be nice if we could be friends Sure, all right, let's go back to our farm. I usually just see a female nurse with the male. Yeah, but most of the time that's what they do. All right. Yeah, you know what? I do, f I do feel like the game is a bit blurry, but I don't know why, because everything I didn't change, I literally didn't change anything, right? But it does feel like blurrier than at the beginning of the stream. I don't know why, but I guess we'll have to tough it out and we'll have to just enjoy it like this as it is. Um, all right, we still have a lot of time. We still have a lot of energy. So maybe we should go. Oh, let, let's see. Actually, we should work on repairing the bridge, right? I kind of forgot my goal. All right. Oops. Ah, uh, 15 lumber. All right. So let's do that.
Yeah, it feels really weird, like, navigating, even, like, navigating the makers and everything, like, with the mouse. It just doesn't feel natural. I pronounce it T gray, but I don't know if that's right. I, yeah, I don't know. The blurness feels more like my nearsightedness, which is why I think it's the animation. Yeah, I don't know. I don't usually get to catch the live stream. I'm in Australia and it's 11 a.m. on Thursday, but I'm off work sick today. Oh no! Well, hopefully the stream can make you feel a bit better. But I hope you, I hope you can get some good rest today and feel better soon. Tigray sounds fancy. I might have that. Yeah, I, I don't know what's the correct pronunciation yeah it's definitely blurry there's definitely something wrong it's like it's not the stream it's really the game itself uh, i don't know why Yeah, and I feel like we have quite a lot of money, right? I should go spend... Yeah, maybe I should spend a little bit of money. Alright. I don't know how much is the bigger backpack. Maybe I could invest in a little backpack. Well, it's 6 p.m. No much more... Not much more energy, so let's go to sleep. Actually, one thing that's kind of easy with this game is that you get animals really early. Whereas in... I feel like in most Story of Seasons game, I never buy animals in my first month. Um, I guess it depends on the game. But in this one, like, you get a chicken from day one, basically. Good morning, I hope Tent Life is treating you well. It seems to me like you're getting used to it, in fact. Still, I know a tent is neither luxurious nor convenient, which is why I wanted to teach you about home expansions today. Your home uh, tent can be expanded into a log cabin with enough materials and money. Remember Nigel, the fellow from yesterday? As I mentioned, he's our local carpenter. If you head on over to his workshop and commission him, he'll be more than happy to upgrade your house into something special. You could cook your own meals, take a bath to relax after a hard day's work, and adopt a pet. To do all that, however, you'll need to upgrade your tent to a log cabin, so it might be a good idea to prioritize an upgrade. That said, I've taught you all I can. As mayor, I'm usually in town, so don't hesitate to come and find me if you need anything. I'm looking forward to seeing what you can do. I'm sure you'll create a farm just as wonderful as your grandfather's. For the way it's written, it is Italian for tiger, so tigre is fine. Yeah, well, it, it's also French for tiger, which would be like tigre. So that would be kind of different from tigre. So I don't know if, like, if they're taking like the Italian or like French or like or if it's like just completely like fictional so I don't know why I'm always tempted to f <laughs> I'm always tempted to fill up my watering can my screen just turned black oh okay wait okay sorry I don't know why my screen turned black for a second Hi Josh, hi Bron, hi Lentine Soup, hope you're doing good today. Glad you're able to make it to the stream today, too. I hope that Animal Fest will be considered in the next update, like Horse Derby Chicken Festival. Yeah, I don't feel like they're gonna be adding festivals, to be honest. I would love to, because um, I, I feel like these were one of the most fun festivals. Like, they were a reason to actually take care of your animals, but... I don't think they're going to be adding more festivals. Oops. I wonder if <laughs> Victor is related to Tom Nook. Mm, I wonder. They're, they're kind of similar, right? His clothes look to be Indian, which is also where tigers live, but I don't think that info helps with this puzzle. Yeah, right? <laughs> I really don't know. I haven't played Animal Crossing in such a long time. 
I still have to go back to the Happy Home Paradise. The DLC has have so much stuff to do with that. Why is it taking so long for that lumber? Oh, I think I might have enough though now. Okay, oh, let me just take out my little chick. Like this. All right. So I'm just gonna, okay, so I have 12. Okay, I'm just gonna wait for my lumber. In the meantime, I'm gonna clean that up. Get some more wood. Should we go see... Um, let's see how much... Let's go see the carpenter. Oh, is he closed? No, I, I forgot which day is closed. I, th oh, I think he's open on Wednesday, right? Let's see what we need for the house upgrade. Because I need a kitchen. I need to cook something. I just sorry I'm late. Oh, don't be late for... I'm just glad you're here. So glad I didn't miss it. I'm playing Story of Seasons Olive Town because of your video. Nice. Yeah, I'm glad you're able to make it. Never be sorry, guys, for being late. If we could find Tigre Tigre's name in Japanese Katakana, that would help figure out. I think it's Tigure. Like, so it would be like Tigre or Tigre. Tigre. I think, but I don't remember actually. I don't remember what his Japanese was, his Japanese name was exactly. Um. Oh yeah, I wanted to check Nigel's shop. Oh, clo oh, it is closed on Wednesday actually. Okay, all right. Let's just go. Let me check the backpack. Is the Backpack you buy from the tool shop. Do you buy the backpack here? Hey. Hey. Oh yeah. Three times. Oh yeah. All right. Let's do that. Yay! Is your copy of Three of Towns Japanese? It is. All of my 3DS games are the Japanese versions. Lini. Oh hi, Lini. Welcome to the. <laughs> Congrats on your membership. Thanks for joining us, our new seedling. Hope you enjoy your new, new emojis, new emotes. So, all right. Oh, let me take a picture. Let me uh, take a picture of these for the museum. 20 lugs and 2,000 money. Oh, it's not too bad, actually. So, I'm gonna have... I feel like my, my lumber is not doing anything. Okay, alright. So, yeah, I'm just gonna chop some more, more wood. And maybe, so tomorrow, we might be able to get the house upgrade. I feel like this game is a little bit too easy compared to, like, other... Like, I've been playing Harvest Moon 64 recently. And I feel like getting the house upgrades in 64 is like takes so much longer and also like one thing I like about 64 is that the carpenters are actually gonna come to your house and it's gonna take a few days but in this game they build everything instantly and I feel like it loses a little bit of the charm and like just the reward of like having to wait I always screen shot with my switch command different buildings and tool requirements because I never remember right Maybe keeping it in a tab would be the PC equivalent. Yeah, right? Well, usually... Yeah... I usually don't take screenshots too much. But yeah, that's a good idea, actually. That's a good idea. Alright, so we're good with that. Alright, let's add a little bit more. Oh, RJ Co, thank you so much for the super sticker. I, 49, what's that currency? But thank you so much. I don't know how much is that, but <laughs> I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. When you get around to playing it, you should let us know. 
Yeah, I will. Oh, peso. Oh, thank you. I think it's my first. I don't think I've ever seen the like symbol for peso before. Or I probably just don't remember, but <laughs> thank you. All right. So, yeah, I think we're going to be able to do the house upgrades tomorrow. Sorry I'm late today. Hope you're all enjoying the stream. Going to be lurking around for a bit. Hi, Cloudy Skies. Hope you're doing good. Hope you had a good night of sleep. Are you getting ready to go to work? From Philippines. Oh, hi. Hope it's a good day in the Philippines today. Mm. Oh, I don't have my bucket yet. Oh, yeah. So you get the bucket after the first day of rain. So, yeah, I'm going to have... Should be pretty soon, I think. Josh's hair color choices always top notch. I had such a hard time picking up my hair color today. There's so many nice hair colors in this game. But yeah, I went for the... Um, something, some kind of blue. I forgot the exact name. Um, Alright, so we don't have... Maybe I can... You know what? Maybe I can go to the restaurant. Go to the cafe. We can go say hi to Blair. Go eat a little something. Sir, good morning. Where can I download it in PC? Well, you can buy it on Steam. Uh, sometimes it goes on sale, but yeah, so that's how I got the game. I bought it on Steam. Quite gloomy though. Oh no, like watching your streams. I like watching your... Oh, I, th I thought you meant that watching the streams <laughs> was gloomy. Tigre, this is what the wiki says. Yeah, so that would be like Tigre or like Tigre. Yeah, Tigre or Tigre. Like Tigre if you want to be like exact in English, like Tigre. So I guess everything with gray like would work. Tigre, Tigre would probably work. Hello. But yeah, Tigre, Tigre. Hello. Mm. It's my first time to hear Misaki's English voice. A little bit odd. Okay, let's eat some curry rice. Have they worked out the issue with this game? I've heard a lot of complaints. Well, it depends on when you heard the complaints. So there's been lots of updates. It's definitely not perfect. Um, but they have improved a lot of things. Can you play Harvest Moon, Friends of Mineral Town, theme song, so nostalgic? Well, I can't really play it right now. Um, but actually, <laughs> in my last video, in the video I posted today, the for the background music, I used the spring theme from Mineral Town. So if you watch my last video, you can hear the Mineral Town music in the background. But... Yeah, I wish there was an option to like change the music in this game. Like change the music on your farm. Who would you marry this time? I've not made my decision yet. Oh yeah, Tourmaline. Oh yeah, that's the name of the my hair color. Tourmaline Blue. Tourmaline, Tourmaline, Tourmaline. I'm not sure, but yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know who I'm gonna marry. I have not decided that yet. But I think I might go for one of the DLC characters. But on the other hand, I don't like that they never come to Olive Town, basically. But I don't know. I don't know it's just a tough choice. I don't know. Did you start a new game? Yes, I did. So that's a brand new game. I'm playing on the PC version, so I used to play this on the Switch version. All right, let's check out our new area. Let's see if we can repair our barn. Oh no, so we, oh yeah, we have to wait until tomorrow, right? Yeah, I forgot about that. Try from the DLC this time. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. And also I have not seen all the cutscenes yet for like the, the little events with the NPC for the DLC characters. So I think I should try that out.
All right, so things are starting to look a little bit cleaner here, which is good. Are you finding the controls on the PC version to be better or mostly the same? So the controls, so I said, <laughs> sorry, sorry for those who have been watching since the beginning, because I've been repeating this a lot. Um, I don't mind repeating it. I, I just <laughs> feel bad for those who had to hear this so many times. Um, so it's definitely, you can tell it was designed for a controller and they did not adapt the controls too much for mouse and keyboard. Like if you navigate the menus with the mouse, like you can't like drag and drop like you would in a normal game or like you can't just like hover over things. It, it's kind of clunky to navigate, like especially with the mouse. Um, so it's kind of a lazy port to be honest, but if you play with a controller, it's going to be fine. And I think in terms of performance, if you have a good PC, it's definitely going to run better than on the switch. So yeah, I would recommend playing, I'm playing with mouse and keyboard, but if you can play with a controller, I would rec maybe recommend that. Not being able to drag tools and pocket stuff was not as nice. You would think PC would add that up, right? I, I feel like it's not that hard like I'm not a programmer or anything but it just feels lazy that they didn't change some of the controls for PC you know okay let's go to sleep We all like hearing you talk, I think. <laughs> no problem, my friend, if repeating. I feel like sometimes I'm always, like, I stream for three hours and I keep, I just say the same five things. I say the same five things for five hours, three hours in a row. I'm dating Iris right now in this game. If I get a PC version, I'll be playing in Japanese and we'll probably go for Jack or Arena. Yeah, that's one thing that's good with the PC version is that you can change all the languages. I just noticed you missing a lot. I know some people said the Switch version was hard to aim. Yeah, I feel like I actually feel like it, it was easier to aim on the Switch <laughs> with the controller, because I'm always actually I'm looking at where my cursor is rather than you know like in Stardew Valley, you can if you move your cursor, it's actually gonna move where you're aiming. But here it's actually like where your character is facing. So I just have the habit of like putting my cursor somewhere but actually anyway you know what I mean so like I kind of want to put my cursor here and water the crop on the left but I have to actually move my character the same as on the switch but it's just like for a PC game like it's kind of a habit of like playing on PC so yeah I'm missing more on PC than on switch I think Tourmaline is a mix of green and pink. Maybe. It looks pretty much blue. But, yeah, I don't know. I think Tourmaline is probably some kind of stone or something. I don't know. It sounds like it could be some kind of desert, desert as well. Like Tourmaline. I don't know. That sounds like a, some French desert. Is controller not enabled for this game on Steam? Yes, it is. But I, I just don't have... I mean, I have a pro controller, but it's paired with my Switch right now, so... Um, yeah, so usually I almost never play with a controller when I play on my PC. Mineral Town would have been more difficult for me to do with keyboard only in the PC version. Glad the controller worked. Yeah, yeah definitely better with a controller. Tourmaline is a stone, it's green and pink, but can vary a bit. Oh, that's good to know. So that was my first guess, actually. I said it was a stone, so that's good. Let's bring your chickens outside. And let's pick up our egg. And Oh, let's see if we can make the house, house upgrade. No, oh, is there going to be some cutscene? I think so, yeah. Well, hello there, Josh. Getting the hang of things here in Olive Town. I realize we may not have 
as many conveniences compared to the big city. Oh, you know what? One difference I just noticed. On the PC version, in the loading screens, you don't see the photos. Or oh, maybe I need to activate. Oh, let's go see um, Laura after this. Maybe I need to enable. I don't, I don't know. We all work together to build this place into what it is today, and we're proud of that. We have our troubles, of course, but... Hmm? Jacopo? What on earth are you doing here? Not skipping work on the ferry, are we? Nah, Dad, it's cool. We don't have many tourists headed in today, so I took care of cleaning duty in no time flat. So that's why you're back early? Yeah, pretty much. I figured I'd run and take a shower before Captain George... Gorg... Or George... Gives me my next assignment. I think it's actually uh, Gorg. Jorg, maybe? Uh, and that, you see, is one of our troubles. We like tourism. I'm not saying that Olive Town has to be a top resort spot by any means, but I'd like it to be a tiny oasis that tourists can enjoy. That's where you come in, Josh. You were raised in a big city, weren't you? Could I get your opinion on something? What do you suppose we should do to grab the attention of the city folk? Unfortunately, these choices don't make any difference. So let's... Offer a break from the hustle and bustle. I see. Offering a coming break from city life might be just what they need. We can certainly do that from here. Uh, do that for them here. I constantly think to myself, folks from the big city are always rushing around. They need a good break every now and then. If they could take some time to relax in Olive Town, perhaps they could find themselves again and remember life's simple pleasures. The community photos wonder if this game doesn't have that. Yeah, I wonder if the PC version doesn't have them. Georg, the fish bus for Majora's Mask. Oh, is there a bus named like this in <laughs> Majora's Mask? I actually have not played Majora's Mask too much. It should be coming out soon, right? In a few days, I guess. On the Switch. Speaking of life's simple pleasures, the shower felt great. Maybe I'll sneak in a cafe trip and take the rest of the day off. For the love of... Please go to work, son. Alright, the roads are so ugly at the beginning of the game. You know what, I like, I think I like the second version of the road, because you change the roads twice in this game, I think, right? It's kind of silly, right? How, you, like, you change the whole roads of the town twice. Oh. I only came here to sightsee, but I'm being treated like a full resident now. Okay, let's see if... Hey, if you're looking for the lowdown on Olive Town, then you've come to the right gal. Wait, you're Josh? Mayor Victor told me about you. I'm Laura, the town's tour guide. No question is a dumb question as far as I'm concerned, so fire away if there's anything you'd like to know. I think I just need to wait until she gets settled. It will be on the next update. Yeah, I know. Uh, how to, but there, I mean, there's two paths upgrade, right? The paths will upgrade once, and that's when I like them, and then they will update again, and they will turn kind of like yellow, gold, and that's when I don't like them anymore. How to get the mysterious ladder connecting areas of your farm. So you need to have finished the whole storyline. And a few days after you finish the storyline. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so there's no... So Laura is useless in this. In the PC version, there's no... Online features. I mean, we're not missing out on a lot. But that's a little bit sad. So we're not... I wonder if you're still gonna get like random tourists. So, yeah, to get the, Mr. the ladder connecting the areas of your farm and also the way to harvest, like, 3 by 3 uh -huh, You need to finish the main storyline, and after that, uh, people are going to come to your farm and start giving you, like, additional requests. So, you need to do these requests. Uh -huh. I've done such a nice, peaceful place. Going from dirt to wood to stone would probably have made more sense. I feel like just evolving it once... Like, it just feels weird to, like, change the path twice. They could change something else in the... Like, there's so many things that could change in the town. So why why would they renovate the paths, like, twice in, like... You, you can beat this game, like, within the first summer. So <laughs> why would they renovate the paths twice in, like, two seasons, eh? you know? Um, Alright, so, yeah, I don't have the bucket yet. We're gonna get a cow soon. So, oh yeah, we can go mining. Should we go mining now? Do I have space in my bag? Yeah, we have space. Okay, let me just sell my egg. And then, yeah, I think we can start mining today. Get some iron. Oh, I forgot to have the first mine as well. You know what? Let's do the first mine first. Um, 
And there's not much interesting in this mine, but let's do it anyway. We can still get iron, right, in this first mine, actually. Yeah. I'm thinking of starting a new game on my Switch, but not sure. Yeah, depending on when you played last time, like, there's been so many updates. So I feel like it's definitely... Definitely fun to start after, like... Because the first time I played this game, it was before all of the updates. So coming back to it now after all of the updates, it, it surely feels different. Always beat the game in year one, yeah. It's really easy to... It's a pretty short... Pretty short story in this one. Especially if you compare it to like a lot of the older games. Like I said earlier, I'm playing Harvest Moon on the 64 right now. So on the 64, I think after the third year... Like the ending is actually on the third year. When your... Your dad evaluates your farm. Uh, yeah. And Harvest Moon SNES was also after the third summer. Like, I feel like a lot of the older games, also like Save the Homeland. I don't know how much time you had in Save the Homeland. But, yeah, I feel like the ending is just a little bit too easy in this game. Of course, that's not like the, the whole point of these games. Like, you can just keep playing forever, but... I wish there was a little bit more like, stakes, you know? Yeah, I wish there was more town stuff to do to actually win. Yeah, I wish there was more to... Except the homeland gives you one year. Oh, that's tough. That's pretty short, actually. Well, I don't know what you have to do exactly. Was it, was it pretty tough? But, yeah, I can't wait to play it, so in May, uh, sorry, in March, I'm gonna play back to, so I'm playing Harvest Moon 64 now. In March, Back to Nature, and April, Save the Homeland, and I'm so, so, so excited, because I've never really played it. Then there's A Wonderful Life, which is so long, I only ever made it to Chapter 3. Yeah, A Wonderful Life is really long. Uh, I did finish it, um, because when I was young, like... I used to get like maybe two new games per year, like on my birthday, and you know, I would save up a little bit of money and like maybe I would have like two games per year. So I could play a lot. So I did finish A Wonderful Life. But I feel like if I were to play now, I don't know if I would be able to like make it to the very end. And like the. It's very nice to finish A Wonderful Life because you actually get, like, everybody grows up and, like, your child grows up and everything. And it's really, like, rewarding and it's really fun. It's a really fun game to finish. But, yeah, it is kind of time-consuming, right? There are a few different endings. If you get a good ending, you keep your farm, but villagers' relationships are reset so that you can get another ending. Oh, I see. Josh, are you also playing RPG? Chrono Cross is coming to Switch. Don't know if you're familiar. Yeah, I actually never played Chrono Cross because I didn't grow up with like a PlayStation console. But I really want to try it out. I'm curious to try it out. I also never played Chrono Trigger. Uh, but yeah, I think I'm probably going to get it. Um, yeah, I love RPGs. It's just like recently I don't have too much time. Is it a pretty long game? But yeah, recently... I just don't have too much time for RPGs, unfortunately. Oh yeah, I want to check the house upgrade. I keep forgetting about that. Let's check that. Veggies don't have season restrictions, so you can grow tomatoes in the dead of winter. Oh, really? And save the homeland? That's interesting. That's interesting. Hello. Chrono Trigger is the best game ever. It's so good. Yeah, I don't know why I never... Pl I've always wanted to play it, but... Hello. I never did for some reason. Hello. I wonder if kids now play like we did, where games lasted a year or more. As an adult, it's hard to hold the attention that long. Yeah. 
I mean, for me, I don't. For me, it's not much of a, a matter of attention. Like, I don't mind playing the game over and over again. Like, like this game, I've played like over two hundred hours in total. Like, I don't mind playing a game over and over again. I, I feel like I don't get bored easily of a game. But it's just I don't have too much time, and I have like I have too many games to play. Whereas when like when you're a kid, usually most kids don't have money. So, you just have like one game a year, two games a year. Yeah, I need to play Chrono Trigger. Yeah, I don't like how you get the house like instantly like this. I feel like it should take like three days of like hard work for Nigel to build the house. But anyway, so we're... Bo I'm not gonna get the pet ri right away actually. Because I think it's like 2000 for the pet. It's a little bit expensive for the very beginning. Oh gosh, I forgot it was so big. Like the <laughs> It's just the very first expansion. It's pretty big. But you don't have any space to like decorate. You can like put two items here and that's pretty much it. Yeah, so we're going to be able to... Uh, we're going to be able to do some shellfish soup. Yeah, let's go get some clams. It's kind of weird, you know, like here, so, oops, when you cook, if you click on a recipe, like, no, oh. if you click on something like this, so, you have to press E to return, but if you want to quit the menus, like, so far, I've been playing for an hour, 40 minutes, to go back was always right click, but if you click something here, and you can't right click, you have to press E. So I'm not sure why they change the controls for just that menu. Chrono Cross is pretty good, you will enjoy it, but Kirby, but that Kirby Rune Factory 5 and Advanced Wars come out at the same time. Yeah. I'm gonna play, I mean, I've already played Rune Factory 5 a lot. So I think I'm probably gonna be, at the end of March and April, I'm probably gonna be playing Kirby a lot. I'm still gonna play I mean, I'm gonna make Rune Factory 5 videos, so... But I'm probably gonna play Kirby a lot. I'm really, really excited for that one, to be honest. Really, really excited. Alright, let's see if there's anything good I can craft. Ah, uh, yes. Chest. First chest. The tagline of Chrono Trigger was, It's about time because it's a time travel game. It was a joke. Yeah, I know it's a time travel. I, I kind of got your joke, but... Yeah, it's still... But it's true that it's time that... I really need to play it, though. I really want to play it. Actually, I'm not going to put it here because I know I'm probably going to put something else here eventually. Um... I'm gonna place it here for now. It's kind of weird, but that's gonna be that. And all right, let's put things away and let's make some planks. And let's go. Oh yeah, I don't. Okay, let, yeah, let's go find some clams. TOT has awesome house customizations. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Even like some of the older games, like even Magical Melody had a lot of house customization. I think like Animal Parade as well. So it's kind of weird that they went backwards with this game a little bit. But also you have to keep in mind that this was the first game like... The pandemic started during the development of this game, so like everybody had to start working from home and things like that. So I think it kind of messed up a lot of things. Which is why I think this kind of what makes the game a little bit different a little bit. Definitely Rune Factory 5 for me, been waiting forever. Yeah, it's been such a long time since Rune Factory 4. Like Rune Factory 4 came out maybe in, was it 2012? Like it's been like really long time, right? We still don't know if Jamie's a boy or a girl. I think he can. they can be both. I think they're really, like, just depending. I don't think they have a preset gender. Hope you're having fun. Hi, Morgan. Hope you're having fun, too. All 
I mean, I don't if, I don't even know if that feels a lot of energy. Not the best. Actually, really not <laughs> really not good. But we can go mining a little bit. We still have time. I was lucky, and my dad was also a gamer, so I ended up getting lots of games when I was younger. Oh, that's so nice. Yeah, my parents were. My mom used to play this N64 a little bit. Like she was not a gamer, but like she would play some of the games. Like she did play Harvest Moon 64 a little bit. She would play Banjo Kazooie. And a few th a few games she would play. But my dad, not really. Sometimes he would play Mario Kart with me. But uh, yeah, my parents were not gamers. I feel like recently, like there's there's more people playing games now, so I feel like a lot of kids are gonna grow up with parents that just buy a lot of games. But yeah, that was not the that's not how I grew up. So, but that's really good for new the newer generations. I love that Jamie from MM's dog's name is Calver Trop, supposed to be Cerberus. Oh, really? I didn't even know their dog had a name. I always wanted my parents to play games with us. Yeah, I always wanted, like, I've never had, I don't know, in my family there's not that many people like that play games. My brother plays games, so sometimes we can play together. But I never had that many people playing games, even my friends. Like, my friend, even my friends when I was at school, like, no one really played games. And even my friends now, no one really plays games. So, yeah. Just you guys, all of you guys. If I <laughs> didn't have you guys, I would uh, just be playing games by myself. My parents played Mario Party on their wedding night. They tested it first. Oh my gosh, that's so nice. <laughs> that's so cute. Ah, oh, that must have been such a nice wedding night. Even my grandma played Super Mario with me when I was little. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, my grandparents definitely did not play games. Now you have so many people playing games with you. Yes, definitely. And like... Even beside the like streams. But like... Tomorrow I'm gonna do a game night. I don't even remember at what time it is. Uh, I don't remember. I think from 6 p.m. Same as today's stream. On Discord, we're going to be playing Sunhaven. So, I'm looking forward to playing Sunhaven with some of you guys. That's going to be a lot of fun. I've played Sunhaven a little bit in multiplayer, actually, with Miss Bubbles. She also has a YouTube channel that covers, like, farming games and, like, cozy games. So she has a YouTube channel. Sometimes we play Sunhaven together, but I think she's busier, busier than I am. So anyway, so tomorrow I'm gonna be playing with a lot of people. It's gonna be fun. My husband says he doesn't look forward to buying three additional gaming computers when the kids start to get older. Oh my gosh, that's gonna be so expensive. Yeah, for the longest time, like, I think we got our first computer when I was maybe like 10 years old or something, and it was like a family. Pretty much always had a family computer until I started working and then I maybe when I was 14 or so I bought my first computer maybe 15 I don't remember when I bought my first computer but yeah we had like mostly like just family computers so if my brother wanted to use the kind like we had to do turns oh my gosh this brings back so many memories like having to wait to play a game like and you could play like one hour, two hours, then you had to let it to your siblings. Had a sister to play with, but because fighting over who got to play the GameCube first for the day. <laughs> yeah, pretty much the same as me and my brother. I'm sure many of you have similar memories. Yeah. I want to buy... Com I want to... So I'm playing on a laptop now, but I want to buy a desktop computer. No farming games in the direct. Oh, well. Yeah, that's too bad, right? But thank you so much, JC, for the super chat. I was really hoping to have some story of season or, like, something 
some kind of little farming game in the direct, but maybe next time. I'm hopeful that I said it earlier in the stream, but I'm hopeful that by the end of the year, by the end of 2022, we're gonna get news about the next Story of Seasons game. Uh, so, okay, so I think I'm gonna sleep. Remember when everyone had their computers in the living room, kitchen, or the computer room? Yeah, we always had a computer room, like an office. I never, I don't think I've ever had a place where the computer was in the kitchen or living room. So we were kind of lucky, like we had an extra room for that. All right, let's go to sleep. Commodore 64 was my first computer. Oh, wow, that's a that's a while ago. Yeah, I've never seen a Commodore 64 or like all of those old computers. Pikmin would have been nice. Yeah, I really wanted them. Yeah, I love Pikmin so much. That's one of my favorite like first party Nintendo series. I would have loved some Pikmin 4. Good morning to you, Josh. Apologies for barging in on you so early. Oh, yes, I'm gonna get the bucket, right? Because it's raining. Oh, no, I think tomorrow... No, tomorrow I'm gonna get the bucket because it's raining today. Yes, tomorrow we're gonna get our bucket. Perhaps perhaps you might have noticed, but our fair town's been getting livelier by the day. No, I didn't notice. My hope is that if we can keep this up, we can develop our town into an even better place to live. Unfortunately, I can't do that alone. That's why I'd like to petition your aid as a citizen of Olive Town. I don't know... Please, Josh, you've got to do your part and help us, for Olive Town's sake. I don't know. Please, oh, okay. I'd love to help. <laughs> Most excellent. You've got the same can-do spirit as your grandfather. It's wonderful to have the help of someone so reliable. Once we develop the town, we can open more shops, all of which I'm sure will be to your liking. Uh, we might be able to open more shops. I'm still in the planning phases, so nothing's set in stone, but it should be financially feasible. Uh, in any case, our current plan is to beautify our roads a bit. The more aesthetically pleasing your town is, the more satisfaction tourists will get, and a satisfied tourist is bound to visit us again. I've posted some details about the project on the bulletin board in Olive Hall. Don't forget to give it a read when you've got the time. Thank you, let's check. I don't remember what's the first request. Let's check. Ah, uh, let's check on our chicken first. My computer room has the kitchen counter. Oh no, <laughs> with mom over my back watching me attempt my first RuneScape login. Swearing out the gate from a fandom. From a random caused computers to be pushed to gaming menu. Oh no. Having a computer on the kitchen counter, that sounds like very in inconvenient. And like every, every time like your mom is cooking or something, like sh she watches <laughs> everything you do. I'll be off. See you guys. All right, cloudy skies. Bye bye. Take care. Oh, RJ Co. Thank you so much for the second super, super sticker, super chat. Thank you so much. I think there's never gonna be a new more card, just DLC. You know what? That's what I was saying earlier. But I, I'm kind of happy with that. Like 48. It's almost like a brand new game, right? Because. Most of the time, the difference between Mario Kart games, it's just going to be the new courses. So honestly, I'm really happy with like that I don't have to buy a new game. I already have so many games. I I, I don't want to buy Mario Kart 9. I just I'm happy with Mario Kart 8, and I'm just glad we get new courses. Honestly, I'm really happy with how they did it. Actually, so okay, let's just get some sap. Um. Yeah, and also we're gonna start doing some Mario Kart gaming nights. I think next week, I think next Friday we have on Discord our Mario Kart gaming night. So we're gonna do that regularly, so I can't wait to check out the new courses. I think they're coming in March, right? The first one, the first wave. Just doing a drive-by to say hi since I haven't caught you live in a while. Hi, again. Hope you're doing good. Is there a Harvest Moon or SOS game that is more focused on animal festivals like you will train horse for the horse derby, chicken fighting fest? I think most of the older games have kind of things like 
where you have to make sure you actually take care of your animals and like brush your horse and everything so that it's you like you have a good enough relationships to win the festival but you don't really have to like train your horse or anything like that so I don't think there's any game that has a particular focus on that but like definitely like in Harvest Moon 64 like you have to brush your horse and like get on your horse like just one second and like brush your horse if you want to have a chance to win but as far as I know there's no game that's really that really makes it like a real challenge like really challenging but once again I haven't played all the games so maybe we should make some ingot maker We need some um, lugs. I feel like the trees are not spawning back as fast as they used to. Didn't you just get Mario Kart 8? Do you have some sort of future site or something? Yeah, I tried. <laughs> I did. Yeah, I bought Mario Kart 8 last week, actually. <laughs> so during the direct, I was kind of scared. I was like... I hope it's not gonna be a Mario Kart 9 announcement. I just bought Mario Kart 8. I waited years to buy it. And because we we were doing the Discord thing, the game night, so I was like, okay, now now I have to buy Mario Kart 8. So I bought Mario Kart 8 and I was scared that they were gonna announce a new one. Um Save the homeland sort of has horse training elements for one of the endings. You don't really get to compete though. They're more like time trials. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, I wish there were more like a farming game that like you have to actually like train your horse and like actually do the race, like control your little horse during the race. Not just like mashing A, but actually like control your horse and like jumping and like In Mineral Town, you have to ride your horse around the farm, call it by whistling and brush it every day. Yeah, actually, I think you, like, the thing is you don't really have to ride it around. You can just, like, get in, hop in, and hop off your horse right after, right? As far as I know. Like, you don't have to, like, ride it for a long time. But, yeah, it's kind of similar to what it was in Harvest Moon 64 in Mineral Town. Uh, okay, let's make our... Maker. You could use your flute to to get your dog to hoard animals and sit and jump and thing and that's fun watching him learn to jump. Oh nice. Yeah. I'm so looking forward to playing Save the Homeland. Uh, where did I get these? Ch oh, I probably got them from the... Um, yeah, let's plant tulips, I guess. I probably got them from the reward box. I think. Not even Farming Sim 2022 has good horse training. Yeah, well, Farming Sim is kind of a different category, right? Farming Simulator. Yeah, I played a little bit of Farming Sim 22. It was my first time playing that series. I like it, but... I don't know. I wouldn't like. I wouldn't necessarily recommend it to everybody. Like, it's not because you like farming games that you're actually gonna like farming sim, farming simulator. Let's do. Oh, yeah. It's really weird the controls with the. Yeah, I wanna. <laughs> next time I'm gonna play with a controller. Save the Homeland is really refreshingly different from the rest of the games. I think you will like it. I think I will like it too. And I think it looks pretty cute. Like, Hero of Leaf Valley, like the remake, definitely looks better. Like, Save the Homeland looks a bit old, but I like that kind of graphical. I like the style of, like, A Wonderful Life and Save the Homeland. Like, I mean, there are two different styles, but, like, having the camera, like, behind your character... And like, I don't know, it just feels like a little bit more immersive. Oh, you know what? I need to upgrade my tools. So, okay, you know what? Yeah, let's go mining. Um, yeah, I need to get a lot of iron. 
Uh, cause yeah, I need to upgrade my axe and my hammer. My hammer first, actually. Okay, let me just put my table here. I think Hero of the Valley is a much better upgrade of Save the Homeland. Yeah. It looks much... Like, graphically, it looks better. And I think I think in Hero of the Valley, you can get married, too, which is, like, a pretty big improvement. improvement. Magical Melody needs a Wii or GameCube to play it, I think. Yeah, there's no remakes or other, like... Yeah, I have it on the GameCube. I'm gonna play it in... Because I'm playing all the games, the console games this year. Um, so Save the Homeland is April. May, A Wonderful Life. June. So in June, I'm going to play Magical Melody. I really like the camera angle in STH and AWL too. It's a very old game, but it looks good considering it was released in 21. Yeah. Even like when I was playing Harvest Moon 64 yesterday, I streamed it and like... I feel like that game still looks so good, like even today. I feel like it's maybe easier for 2D games. Well, it was kind of half, like 2.5D, I guess, for Harvest Moon 64, but it aged pretty well, I think. I'm excited for you to play it. That was my favorite. I think, yeah. I think it might be my favorite. I think I'm gonna have to play it again, and I'm gonna have to play, and I've not played Animal Parade yet, so. I I'm gonna have to play that before I can decide my favorite. But possibly Magical Melody might be my favorite. Because I feel like it takes everything I love from like Harvest Moon 64. And like it just adds like there's so much content. There's like customization. You can customize your house. Move your house around. Like buy plots of lands. There's new animals. There's the wild animals. There's lots of characters. Returning characters. Like... This is so much in that game. I also enjoyed placing, playing Harvest Moon Grand Bazaar as you compete with others' stories. Other stores in selling stuff. Yeah, I never played Grand Bazaar. What was the one... The name of the one where everyone wore a hat? What? Is there, is there really a game where everybody wears a hat? Or like almost everybody? I don't know. Magical Melody is the one where a character stuffs their face with beans for the tutorial. Ah, I don't... <laughs> I don't recall that. I'm not sure. But I like the idea, even though I never played Grand Bazaar, I like the idea of like actually selling your stuff at a market or like you know, like, actually selling your stuff instead of just putting everything in a shipping bin. I've always told myself that if, if someday I make a farming game, I want to make it that you actually have to, like, go to some shops to sell your store, like, some little market or something. To sell your stuff. I replayed it, like, four years ago. And I got sucked right back into it, like the old days. I'm sure you'll like it again. Yeah, I'm sure I will. I'm, I kind of want to play it right now, but I got to play them in order because I, I need to write reviews for all of them. And like, I need to play, I'm playing like one game per month. So I still need to work on Harvest Moon 64. I'm on the second, I'm almost finished with the second summer. I'm on the 24th. So I need to do the beach, Um, the beach contest, the swimming contest. Uh, not much more we can do. Let's go to the museum, bring our pictures. Yeah, so I still have a, quite a... I'm probably going to do another Harvest Moon 64 stream, I think, by the end of the month. I love shop management games. Yeah. Actually, I want to play... I bought a game recently called Lemon Cake. I'm sure a lot of you guys have played that game. Like, you run a little bakery. I've not played it yet. I want to play it. I want to make a video, like, just Hello. checking out the first hour or so of that game. Uh, lemon Cake. Yeah, I want to try that game. Um, yeah. It looks fun. It looks fun. 
Yeah, the swimming festival was so much fun, right? In Harvest. Oh, okay. So I need not to. Oh, yeah. I, I don't want to mess up my museum again. Do you guys remember which? Did I give the squirrel or the bird? I don't want to mess up my museum like I did every other time. Okay, let me pull up. I need to find a list of the animals. Museum list. Olive Town. Yeah, I don't want to mess up like every single time. Squirrel. I picked the squirrel. Okay. Okay, let me just pull up a list of the animals. Um. Okay, so squirrel, fox. Okay, wait. There's a game where you dungeon crawl and sell your items. You know what? I almost talked about that game. So <laughs> actually, yeah, I was thinking about that game as well. Reset here. I started playing Reset here. Like I think last month I played a little bit. I want to play it more. Actually, I kind of wanted to make a review of that game. It's kind of an old game. Uh, but yeah, it's pre pretty nice. Yeah, you should definitely post it in the on the Discord. Yeah, Reset here is a lot. I, I didn't think people would remember that game. Yeah, maybe I should stream it or make a video on that game at some point. I didn't know people would care still in 2022 about that game. Yeah. And like it was pretty, it's pretty cheap. Yeah, like you can get it on Steam. The only thing that's kind of like, it's really an old like. It's like a four by three aspect ratio. So like if you play on a modern monitor, like the it's gonna be like a little square on your screen. But anyway, it's a pretty fun game. Okay, so let me just check the animals. So there's okay. There's one, two, three, four, five, six birds. So the birds, I'm gonna place the birds. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let me double check. Sparrow, owl, bluebird, ptarmigan. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, six birds. And there's how many insects? Rhino beetle, stag beetle, Hercules beetle, three beetles, three butterflies, plus the millipede. So six birds. Okay, so that's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six birds. And then one, two, three, four, five. Um, there's six, six insects and six birds. Uh, one, two, three, one, two, three. I'm just trying to figure out my layout that I want to have. And how many mammals? So squirrel, two foxes, two ermines, ermines, bear, monkey. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So maybe I could have like white fox, white ermine, regular f orange fox, brown ermine, and like bear or squirrel. And then monkey. And then crab. I don't know. How did you guys place your stuff? Sorry, I've, I'm taking a long time. I'm trying to figure out. I don't want to mess up my museum. So there is uh, three beetles. Oh, maybe I could place maybe three butterflies here. And on the other side, three beetles. And maybe here the two foxes. And here the two her ermines. And at the back, the six birds. Plus the millipede. The millipede is going to be kind of by itself. The crab. The squirrel. And... The monk. The... I don't care any of this stuff. It goes where there's an empty... Sl yeah, you... Yeah. <laughs> it was too stressful to plan it out. Swallowtail, butterfly, white butterfly, sparrow, falcon, eagle. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. So 
you place your three butterflies here and then one, two, three, four, five, six. And then millipede, stag beetle. Beetles, millipede, and crab in front. I like the three bugs on each side with the fox and weasels. Yeah, I think I want to do that. So maybe I, I'm going to do three butterflies here. And three beetles here. And like the two foxes and the two ermines here. And then the six birds here. Oh, you know what? No, 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 no. I'm going to do three butterflies. Three beetles. Three birds here. Three birds here. And the mammals are going to be in the center. Oh, there's going to be the middle. Oh, the middle... The millipede is kind of messing everything up because it makes uneven the, the amount of bugs. Oh, I know. I'm going to place... Okay, I know. I'm going to place three birds here, two mammals here, two mammals here, three birds here, three butterflies here. Three beetles here and the millipede, millipede here and mammal, mammals here. Okay, I, I know what I'm gonna do. Okay, all right, I know what I'm gonna do. All right, I can't change my mind anymore. Start in the center with the birds. Oh, it would have been nice to have the birds in the center too, anyway. Yeah, let's give. Hello. I think I'm gonna do something that's not too bad. So I'm going to put the birds 1, 2, 3 here and 1, 2, 3 there. So the birds, so there's eagle, falcon, ptarmigan. So I think I'm going to put the three big birds together. So ptarmigan, eagle and falcon together. And the three small birds together. So all and um, sparrow, all and bluebird. So I'm going to put the sparrow here. I hope they make that mod. Yeah, they need a mod. Yes, they, someone please make a mod where you can move <laughs> the things around in the museum. Like, I feel like that's one thing they looked over, like... Once again, I'm not a programmer, but... That's definitely, like, it feels lazy that you can't move things around. Huh, all right, we're doing good. Sorry about that. Took some time. Oh, let's check if we can find the... Maybe we can find the crab or the eagle today or the falcon. I always mix up the falcon and the eagle. But I think we can find them on the beach if they... There's there's kind of a glitch where sometimes they won't appear on the beach. Oh, I think they appear before 12 actually, so I think... Yeah, you have to come in the morning. But maybe we can find something else. Yeah, not much. Not much. Oh, hey. Okay, alright, let's go to sleep. We don't have much more energy. So, early shift is calling my name. Good night, all. Have a fun job. Uh, have fun. Hi, Morgan. Bye bye. I mean, hope you have a good night and good luck with waking up early. I know it's not easy. So, good luck with that. I posted receipt here in the Discord suggestion channel in case anyone was looking for it. Yeah, thank you. Now I want to play receipt here again. There is a little thing in front of the third mines. I've never been able to get the angle right to take a photo. Oh, the little millipede? I think you should take the picture before crossing the bridge. Like when you're on the other side. Otherwise, it's gonna run away. Yeah, the pill button. Yeah. I think you can take a picture before crossing the bridge. But yeah, I know what you mean. Sometimes it's hard. <laughs> it's actually kind of tricky to photograph. Hey, 
morning. Sorry to suddenly pop up at your door like this. The mayor asked me to come see you. I'm gonna get a bucket. That train yesterday was something, huh? Looks like you've got a few puddles scattered about. When that happens, I'd recommend using a bucket. You can use it to scoop these pesky bottles into oblivion. Here, I'll give you my old one. It's a bit worn out, but trust me, it still works like a charm. Try it for yourself. I can never get it to show blue to confirm the pick. Oh, I see. Yeah, I'm not I remember I had kind of struggled to take that picture too. Okay, let's check if we can get our eagle. I wish I really wish there was like a first person camera. Speaking of first person camera, there's this game called Garden of the Sea. It's a VR VR farming game that came out recently, like earlier this month or maybe last month. I wanna play it so bad. I really wanna play it. I don't have a VR. It's kind of expensive, but uh, I really want to play that game. I really want to. I really, really want to play it. Yeah. Okay, let's take out our chicken. Let's water our crops too. I just went up to it and aim fast, and it usually works. Maybe my rushing actually worked in my favor. Yeah, because it, it gets scared pretty easily, right? So maybe you have to try to be faster. Yeah, it's been a while for me too. I wish I could try it right now, but I don't have access to the third area yet, so it's kind of hard to tell. The bucket thing always seems silly to me. Who would clean up puddles at all, let alone... Right? Like, who would... <laughs> like, if you have a big farm, why would you... Why would you get rid of the little puddles like that with your bucket? I think they just wanted to find a way to like... Actually make you collect clay. But, yeah it is. And it's kind of annoying how they... They just reappear so quickly, like every day, these puddles. Oh, I need to put stuff in here, right? Watering is painfully slow in this game in the beginning. Yeah, pretty much like in all Story of Seasons games. I think it's not too bad though. I think there are games where it's slower. Oh, yes. Oh, while well, we're talking about that, we just got a sprinkler, but I'm gonna wait for the sprinklers. I want to get better. I want to get all of the iron tools first. This menu feels so clunky with a PC, con with, a, with a mouse. It just feels so weird. That menu in the maker, I don't, I don't know what's wrong, but it doesn't feel as right as with a controller. I prefer magical melodies, clay collection of hoeing the mine and floor. Yeah, they could have put the clay in the mines, actually. Yeah. What would you do with the clay in magical melody? I don't remember. What's more painful is those puddles when you're end game. Yeah, well as for me when when I'm end game, my farm is pretty much like fully decorated, so I don't have to worry about that too too much. Uh I th I okay, yeah, sorry. I think I'm going to go mining. Uh, I I really need some iron. Yeah, I really really need some iron. Oh, actually, there's a lot here because I, I need to upgrade my hammer because it's such a pain because I need a lot of solid wood But with my axe right now not working well, so I'm gonna upgrade my hammer and my axe You gave the clay to Saibara You used it to make pottery I think for decorating your house. I, oh, I want to play magical melee. Stop talking about the magical. I want to play it so bad. I Want to play that game so bad It brought the blacksmith to town and I think it was needed for some buildings upgrades. I see Uh, I want to play Magical Melody. I'm excited for your new farm design. We love your design in your Switch. Yeah, hopefully I can manage to do something nice. I haven't... It, I mean, it's going to take a while before... Like, 
in my first save file, I probably didn't like properly design my farm until the third year, I think. So it's gonna take quite some time. But yeah, I'm looking forward to like doing a brand new design, doing something different. Sorry, my screen just went black. You're probably gonna be fine on your side. Okay. It's been so long since I played Magical Melody. Yeah. Yeah, I wanna play it again. I wish they would take all the good parts of previous games and put it in a new story of seasons. Yeah, that's kind of tricky though because like... For some people, the good parts of a game can be someone else's bad parts of a game. Right? And I feel like with this series, for the most part, they always they always do things quite differently. So there's always like mechanics that go away and come back, which is actually something I like. I like that like all Story of Seasons game actually feel, even though it's a big series with lots of games, they all feel quite different because they all do like some mechanics differently. But yeah. I want to see a game do like Magical Melody, but more, like 22, 2022 reimagining of Magical Melody, if that makes sense. Yeah, I think my favorite feature of Magical Melody was like that you could buy different plots and like you could move your house, you could build, like you could have like three houses and like some lands were more fertile and other lands like oh my gosh oops sorry like there were lots of like different lands anyway it was so much fun i love breaking out grid paper to plot things out all over the town yeah and like you can move yeah you can move your barn your chicken coop there's not that much like outdoor decoration, but you could still like kind of make the town your own a little bit just by like planting trees, like you could plant fruit trees wherever you like, like on your land. You could pretty much buy the whole the whole town. Beach house is the only house. Uh, yeah, I would pretty much always start with the beach house. I think it was less fertile, but it was pretty big and yeah. Yeah, it had a lot of marriage candidates as well, right? Uh, did it have like 10 for each? Like, so for the total of like 20 marriage candidates? It really had a lot. Sorry that I passed out. I really didn't pay attention to what I was doing. Are we gonna, with five in guts, am I able to upgrade a tool now? Let's see, I'm just gonna... Uh, sell some stuff. We might be able to upgrade our hammer now, right? You could customize your land in Magical Melody. Well, you could place like little fences. And you could like... You could move the... Like you could pick where you build the barn. You could pick where you build your chicken coop. You could plant... Like you could buy the whole town basically. So you could build like... Plant like fruit trees somewhere. Or like plant little flowers somewhere. Uh, but most of the customization was like actually in interior. But yeah, I remember I had fun like just like planning. I had quite a lot of fun yeah, in that game. Just like planning my things, planning my my farm and like moving things around. How much longer are you streaming? So I think I'm going to be... Um, Almost done. Maybe we can do one or more, one or two more days. Because I'm getting hungry and I'm lazy for cooking. So I think I want to go out and get some food before there's no more, like before everything closes. Um, okay, so let me just wait for him. The rival was Jamie. Yeah. Uh, my child self didn't like her. Yeah, I didn't like her, uh, him or her as well. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that was an interesting mechanic as well to have like a proper rival. That was really fun, I think. Like you had like some real competition. I don't remember if it was like challenging, but I remember you could see like how much money they made every day. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I want to play. Oh my gosh, I feel like ah, it's so tempting. I 
almost like want to do a magic. I almost want to play Magical Melody right now and like stream it. But yeah, not not now. When Judge says I'm getting hungry, you know the stream's almost over. Yeah, that's always... Actually, I was getting hungry even before the stream started. I wanted to eat something, but then it was the Nintendo Direct. And I kind of didn't plan that my stream was going to be right after the Direct. So I didn't have time to eat something. But yeah, I don't think I've ever did like one stream where I was not getting hungry. <laughs> Um, okay, let's go mining. Let's go put some stuff away. And we might be able... Yeah, I might be able by the end of the day to upgrade my axe. So I'm I'm just gonna go mining quickly. Just get some more iron. And then when I come back, we're gonna go back to the shop and upgrade our axe. I really hope you keep this a series. I love your videos on this game so much. I would also love if you want... If you went back to Magical Melody, that's one of my favorite games. Yeah, I would love to definitely start playing more Olive Town again. I just need to find the time. Like, I don't know how often, but I'm definitely gonna come back to this save file. Oh, thank you so much, Samo. 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 Thank you so much for the super sticker. Sorry, I, I don't, how do you pronounce your name? But thank you. Don't play MM yet, wait so that you can feel the nostalgia when you do play it again. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, I should wait. Need to finish 64 first. One thing at a time. And then back to nature. I'm kind of excited for back to nature, but it's not the one I'm the most excited for because I played... I feel like it's just gonna be kind of like a watered-down version of <laughs> Friends of Mineral Town. But I might be surprised, actually. I'm, I'm still, like, really excited for it. But I'm most excited for Save the Homeland, Magical Melody, and Mal Parade. We run better for me with the lag. I remember correct, though. I lagged a lot on the GameCube, though. Yeah, I never... Um, I never played the Wii version. I always played on the GameCube. I don't remember, like, too many slowdowns, but... Back to Nature has more features than Mineral Town. Oh, does it? I thought it had less. So much faster, like, when you upgrade your hammer. Definitely, I recommend always upgrading your hammer first. Because that's going to allow you to get ores so much quicker. And then you can upgrade all of your other tools so quickly. Did they announce new SOS game? No, for no, they did not. I'm still hopeful maybe in a future direct later this year, but not today. Yeah, they didn't announce anything in terms of like farming games or anything. Okay, let's keep going a little bit. I need to go out before the shop closes. Alright, I'm gonna go out. I'm gonna upgrade my axe. And then I'm gonna use the rest of my stamina to chop down some trees. And get some solid lumber, which is gonna be used to repair the barn. Then we can get our little cow so yeah I think we should be wait do I wait did I do something wrong didn't I just pick up a lump did I do something wrong did I miscalculate something I thought I already had a lump uh, an ingot and I picked up huh? did I do something wrong Okay, anyway, let, let's... Oh, there they are. Oh, okay, I have two here. Okay, anyway, we've got everything we need. I got a little bit confused here. I'm not too sure why. But anyway, let's go... Sorry, I keep misclicking. Let's go upgrade our axe. 
I hope they stay away from the chibi styles in the future. As much as I like chibi, I'd like something that looks bigger and less cutesy. Yeah, I feel like, I mean, we've had like quite a few cute games in a row, so I wouldn't mind if they tried. I'm kind of scared because like on a technical level, they've been kind of struggling with Olive Town and like the performance. But I wouldn't mind if they tried something more similar to like a wonderful life or save the homeland, like a more like realistic style. I would really, really love to see that. I don't know if we're ever going to see that again. But I think that would be that would be quite interesting. Yay! Thank you. Next is gonna be silver hammer and watering can, iron watering can. Good morning, Josh. How do you do today? Hope you're doing great. Just woken up from my sleep. Hi, S. By the way, hope you're doing good. Unfortunately, we're almost <laughs> almost done for today, but hope you're able to. Hope you're. I'm glad you're able to make it still. I hope you had a good night of sleep. I'm missing my old pig babe from Magical Medi. Why can't I have teleport powers to go get my Wii? Yeah, I miss the pig. It was so fun to have like a little pig cute. He was looking for truffles, I think, right? That was really cute. Yeah, I wish you can get your Wii soon. That's the same for me, so I'm gonna go... I'm gonna finally go back to my mom's place to get all of my old consoles this month. So I'm, I'm so, so, so excited for that. My favorite style will forever be Animal Parade. Yeah, Animal Parade and uh, Trail of Tranquility definitely had like interesting, like very different styles from anything we've seen before. I'd love to see something done. I don't think they will go back to that style unless they do like a remake. But I think that was a good good style, actually. We need a wonderful life remake where Carter can give you the Chihuahua at the dig site. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like if they do a wonderful life, a wonderful life remake, I feel like they would need to add. I feel like there's a lot of stuff missing from a wonderful life. Um, like there's no festivals. There's not a lot of like choice for bachelors, bachelorettes. I feel like they would need to like. Not just do a port. Like I, f I feel like they would need to bring a lot of changes if they want people to like that game in 2022. What I really want is a remake of A Wonderful Life. I tried playing it on a PS4 recently and it's not pretty. Maybe a future installment where there are more people and more bachelors. Yeah, exactly. And I think also on the PS4, it's not running very smoothly. Like... The GameCube, ver the GameCube version is definitely the best way to play A Wonderful Life. But yeah. But yeah, that's the thing with more realistic graphics though, is that they don't age as well. I think it didn't age too badly. But yeah, it definitely doesn't age as well as like... Oh, we need to do the request. Uh, I need to bring Sap to the town hall. They don't need to add 2022 features, I just want the Chihuahua. Yeah... I wanted, I wanted to have the... Um, the turtle, or like the... Is there like a big lizard? Like the lizard and the turtle? I, I wanted to adapt... I remember when I was a kid and I was playing A Wonderful Life. I always thought you could... Adapt... The wild animals, and I was trying to like, go around them every day and like do something, but <laughs> you couldn't adopt them, unfortunately. Yeah, the farming system needs a complete overhaul, yeah. Like the watering just one crop at a time in A Wonderful Life. I like watering them twice a day. Oh my gosh, that's too much. Like, I really like the story and like the dialogues and like... Seeing how the town changes every year, every chapter. But the gameplay itself in Olive Town has lots of... In A Wonderful Life. Well, in Olive Town too, but in A Wonderful Life has lots of flaws. 
There's a turtle and a lizard. Yeah, there's both, right? Yeah. The lizard is near the... Um, like, the near the river where you go to the... Where the sprites are. And the turtle is now, like, closer to the beach. When there's, a, there's like, a, like, a little pond. Near the scientist's place. That scientist really creeped me out when I was young. It's so scary. And like the noises, like there were so many like weird noises near his place. That was quite scary. Alright. We don't have too much more energy. I'm gonna bring that bag to the museum. It would be nice to die at the end also, but that's asking too much, I think. Well, you do die at the end. In a wonderful life. Oh, not to die. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I like the fact that you die, though. Like... I don't know, it's... I don't... Maybe they could add... Hello. You know what they could do? Maybe they could add that you don't die. That, no, you die. But maybe you can play as your child after that. And then your child never gets older than that. Like, you're... You can play forever as your child. I think that would be nice. Oh, eagle. Yeah. I think... Yeah, I think that would be a nice thing. So I'm gonna put the three small birds here and the three big birds there. Yeah, the metal clang. Yeah. <laughs> they real scared me too, especially when, I, when his eyes went bloodshot. Yeah. Also, the little... Um, the little homeless... God, what's his name? Ma... I, I think his name starts with M. The little homeless guy. <laughs> he always asked for money. Yeah, but like, all the characters were so charming in that game. Yeah, like a new game plus, yeah. I've always wanted a Harvest Moon game that lets you play as your child. Oh, Murray, Murray, yes, Murray, that's right. That is the mechanic. Oh, is that how it works in the special? Oh, really? Actually, I've never played special edition. He kept stealing my eggs. Oh, yeah, he could steal your stuff in your dairy, in your fridge, right? That little guy. He was really small, right? Like, really, really short. But I feel bad for him. Um, is that? Yeah, let's do some solid lumber. I'm gonna need that for the barn. I like the little snowman monster thing. He was cute. Oh, I don't remember that. Nobody gets that far in Special Edition to discover the new game plus. Yeah, I, I feel like there's not a lot of people that actually finish A Wonderful Life. Yay, Apprentice Drainer. Doesn't Tree of Tranquility allow you to play as your child? Now that you mention, I don't know, I never... I have not played that much of Tree of Tranquility, so I wouldn't be able to say. But if they do, like they need to bring back that feature. Okay, let's go to sleep. Do we have something? Let's sell my butter burr. Oh, the Yeti thing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I want to play A Wonderful Life. I just want to play all the Harvest Moon games, like, in a row. I mean, that's what I'm doing, but they're like, they're so long games, like, they, they take quite a long time to, like, finish. So it's gonna take a while before I can play everything, but, yeah. Tot and AP basically let you start over with some perks from your old file. Oh, I see. But it's nice that there's still, like, some kind of, like, new game plus mechanics. Oh! I was scared of the little winter monster in A Wonderful Life when I was a kid, though it was adorable. Yeah, I don't think I was scared of it. I was scared of quite a few things, but I don't, I don't think the winter monster bothered me too much. 
Every time I play an HM game, I always think about wanting to play another HM game. Yeah, right. <laughs> It's so fun, like, I love this series so much, like, really so much. There's a human here. Wait a second, can you see me? Yes. Wow, it's been so long since a human could see us. Your name is Josh. Hi there, it's nice to meet you. This is where we Earth Sprites all meet up. There's lots more follower sprites hopping around these days. Is that what you're doing, Josh? Yes. Because of your hard work, our village, our little village has gotten a lot livelier. Thanks a whole bunch. Thank you. Hey there, Josh. Since you've been working so hard to find followers sprites, I have a request for you. If you ever need the aid of the sprites, just let me know. We'll do our best to help you out. Whenever you're ready to go back to your farm, give me a shout out and I'll send you home. Send you home. Until then, take your time and have fun exploring a little village. Thank you. Did y'all know how to hit the buttons to cheat? I was not later on cheated for the money on my fourth replayer, so... In what is that in a wonderful life that you could cheat? Hey Josh, did you want to us to help out? The earth sprites you found would be happy to lend, lend their little hands to help you. All you have to do is tell us whose help you'll need and what kind of work you'd like us to do. Thank you. Once they're done with their work, the earth sprites who helped you out will give you some sprite coins. Sprite coins are special coins. You can trade them in for lots of neat stuff. Thank you. We can't wait to work with you. Hi, Josh. Hi, Ginny Knight. Hope you're doing good. I hated the farming system, so I cheated to get all the veggies. Yeah, the farming was definitely not the best in The Wonderful Life. All right. Let's start. Doesn't matter too much. Let's start with the stone sprite. I don't think they're going to have some. Are they going to have something already today? No. Alright, so now I'm gonna go in town. There's gonna be a cutscene. Was it the hybrid stuff that you could cheat with? There was like something to do with it. Yeah, I don't remember. Oh, I think our tulips are ready. So we're gonna buy... Oh, Anya. Oh, that's gonna be a good day to make money. And we have quite a lot. We have 7,000 already. So we can probably upgrade... One more. Yeah, we can upgrade one more. Oh, two more tools. Yeah, we can upgrade two more tools. Uh, I think we might be able to get our barn. Honestly, it facilitates the game so much since you can, like, um, do so many things in the makers now. You don't have to refill your makers every time. Do you like this game soundtrack, Josh? Sometimes it gets a bit repetitive for me. It's definitely not the best soundtrack. Um, like I feel like the songs, the the tunes are not as memorable as in previous games. It, I, I don't know. They're still catchy. They're still fun, but not not as good as in the older older titles. All right, let's take our little chickens outside. Then let's go to town. We've got a few things to do. Okay, let's check on our barn. Let's see if we can repair the barn today or maybe not today. Let's see. So solid lumber three, I'm running got... Mm, no, because I want to upgrade my tools first. Yeah, so we're not going to do the barn for today. Maybe in the next stream, maybe I'm gonna play a little bit off stream actually. Because um, if I if I just play this on stream, it's gonna take me forever to do any kind of progress. I'm probably gonna play a little bit off stream, but I'm probably gonna stream it again as well. So next time you next time the barn is probably gonna be there. The weed puddle growth was driving me nuts. Yeah, they grow really fast. Fall and Save the Homeland had a banger of a track. It was such an earworm. I feel like the Fall tracks are usually really good. Um, like the, my my all-time favorite is probably Fall from Harvest Moon 64. But I don't know the Save the Home Homeland soundtrack too much. I think I'm gonna go listen to it right after 
right after this I'm gonna listen to it oops wrong <laughs> wrong tool all right is there something okay all right let's just put a few things away all right and let's go to town let's check our new roads I remember eating so much mugwort in A Wonderful Life. Yeah, that's one thing I don't like about A Wonderful Life is that you're always, always hungry. So I remember from Moon Factory types that this Destiny is such a banger. Yeah, you know, actually I'm playing... Um, in Moon Factory 5, I changed the music for the Tides of this. I was feeling nostalgic. <laughs> I changed the music for the Tides of Destiny 1. Yeah, it had pretty good music. Take a gander at this road's planet, isn't it? Oh, they show you. So that's the thing that they added in the update. So previously, they would just show you the new one, and you would, you would just be like, w "Wait, what's new? What's different?" But now they actually. Oh, that's really nice. They actually show you the difference now. It's all right. You need not hold back. Complement our new roads. That's a really good. It's gorgeous. I see you're a farmer of taste, Josh. He did all of this with just five, five sap. He managed to change the roads and everything. All of us contributed ideas and put it up to a vote. This was our winner. How come I didn't get to vote? Young Mickey had an idea for a popcorn stand as well. But I'm afraid it lost by a narrow margin. That's too bad. Honestly, I'm not a fan. What did you say? I said I'm not a fan. I'd rather have a cool maze just for the thrill of it. Roads and lamps are practical, which is just a fancy word for boring. Especially as we already had roads and lamps. Like... They should have added something. I, I want to see some like popcorn stands or something like something new But anyway, yes, but you said it yourself. It would be there only for the thrill of it There would be no point to having one so I turned it down It wouldn't have been so bad if it didn't stop you every three seconds still yeah It would stop you a lot and, like good and like your rumble you would hear your stomach rumbling So are you telling me that all the time I spent being lost on vacation was for nothing? Getting lost is part of the adventure. When you're lost, you discover all sorts of new things. That's what vacation's all about. Hmm, I suppose I see what you mean, but nevertheless, I see no point in adding a maze to our town. Why? You can make all sorts of new discoveries here and you don't even need to get lost. For example, hmm, you can find the town's handsome and dignified mayor. <laughs> Alright, I see what you mean, but those discoveries will be created, mark my words. Create them? Who's gonna do that? Mm, yes, well, Josh will create them. Oh, nice. Well, Josh, you heard him. Let's see what you got. My apologies. I ended up getting a little carried away there, but I know you'll do as proud. I'm rooting for you. I would like if they had more things to purchase in this game as you progress, like traveling merchants with rare animals and seeds or furniture as the town grows. Ex yeah, that's one thing. I completely agree with you. Welcome, welcome. I see somebody's got a little extra pep in their step today. You've expanded your house? Why? That's wonderful news. More space means more room for you to use. That reminds me, since you've gone to all the trouble to upgrade your house, why not get yourself a pet to share it with? Here, I'll give you this to you at no extra cost. Consider it a present for me. Is that the, the leash? This leash will let you go on walks with your pets. Let me tell you, you are going to have so much fun if you go on walks with them to get a kick out of it too. So how about a life with a cute little buddy by your side? If you're interested, just let Bridget know and she'll get you started. I can't wait to find out what sort of pet you'll choose. Yeah, I'm not gonna get the pet right away because I want to keep my money for the most, like, for the most important upgrades. Even for the first pet festivals, you can just rent a pet and it's it's easy to win. What would you need furniture for? There's nowhere to put it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. They need to before adding furniture. I want them to fix the. Furniture placement. Um, that's not what I'm here for, but uh, I just want to check. Okay, but yeah, I'm in the wrong shop. I know. Yeah. End game and PCs. Yeah, just more like end game content in general would be nice. Oops. All right. So let's do. 
the watering can. And what about the hole? Maybe sickle? Yeah, sickle. Alright, we're almost we almost got all of the iron tools. Old games had people leaving or coming based on years and seasons. Yeah, that's one thing I, li I liked about the older games as well. Sometimes they would leave forever. Sometimes they would pass away. Sometimes, like, like in Olive Town, you start pretty much, except for one kind of secret character, but you start pretty much with mostly everybody, and like, there's not that much movement. And especially as the I, the game is called Pioneers of Olive Town, so I wish. I wish when you would start, if like there was really like not a lot of shops and like not a lot of people and people would move in kind of like in a new beginning where like when you start there's really not much and then like little by little, oops, little by little it actually becomes a town. Actually I thought, when I saw the trailer for this game first, I thought it was going to be like in a new beginning where you can actually place like pick where you place all the buildings and like really create, create the town build the town from scratch but yeah that's not really what it is Olive Town was my first introduction to Story of Seasons, Harvest Moon I must confess I expected more but yeah you definitely should play the old try, give a try to the older games if you if you can and yeah I'm gonna be playing all of them on my channel in the coming months, so hopefully some people can discover the new game, the old games. Yay, textile maker. Alright, so I've got my grass. I'm gonna check. I should, my lumber should be okay, but yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be able to get all the iron I need today. Pioneers implies that you are founding a town and building it from scratch. Yeah, right? That's kind of... that's. A, I feel like that's a little bit of a misle misleading title. I mean, you're, you're kind of like the pioneer of your farm. Like, you're, you really start your farm from scratch, kind of. Like, it's more rundown than the other... than in the other games. But still. Okay, I'm gonna do a little bit of mining, and then that's gonna be it for today, after I'm done with this day. In old times, towns used to build themselves around profitable farms. I thought it was going to be like that, right? Yeah. Like, somehow everybody still, like, the town was not... They're saying there's not that many tourists, but the town is not doing that bad. Like, they still have, like, lots of buildings, they have shops, they have, like, cafes, restaurants, hotel. Like, everybody's serve no, no one's, like, starving or anything. And if you want to try to build a town from scrap, you can try Medieval Dynasty. Yeah, I've heard really good things about that game. Maybe I should give it a try. A bit of a spoiler with Pokemon Legends. The town you start in grows the further into the story you get. You get more houses that are built slowly. That game's also about pioneering. Yeah, I really want to play Legends of Sir or, or Legends Arceus now. But Yeah, I'll probably play it some somewhat maybe later this year. But it does look like a really fun game. Definitely gonna go back and watch all of this after you stream, because I came in when it was almost over. Oh no, so sorry that you came in late. Yeah, it was a fun stream, I think. 
I'm glad there was a lot of people like Yeah, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you so much guys for joining me today And so if you guys did not hear it before so tomorrow we're gonna play Sunhaven on discord So if you guys want to play if you if you have Sunhaven, I think we still have a few spots left available so if you want to play Sunhaven with us, please join us. And if you don't want to play or if you can't play or anything, you can still watch and like chat and everything. So I'm not going to be streaming on YouTube. It's just on Discord. So if you want to join the Discord, the link is in the description. So feel free to check that out. And it's going to be a lot of fun. So I'm looking forward to that tomorrow. And it's fun because everybody can join the voice chat. Well, most of the times, when we do that, I'm the only one on the voice chat, <laughs> but hopefully other people can join the voice chat as well and we can actually chat. But yeah, we'll see how that goes. Maybe I can make some clam soup just to increase my cooking level a little bit before I go to sleep. I need to learn to trust your opinion because we always tend to agree. <laughs> I bought which would which would after your review thinking I wouldn't think the same, but I got quickly overwhelmed. Yeah, um, it's such a shame. I really wanted to like that game, but I don't know it was just too much. Like the crafting chains are just too long. I I love crafting, but it was just too much in <laughs> this game. And like you don't get anything. Like of course you make progress in the game, but you don't get any like actual rewards. You know. I know you're not a big Pokemon fan, but Legends has been very different. Yeah, that's why I want to try it. Everyone, some every time someone writes Pokemon like PKMN instead of like writing the whole thing, I always think of Pikmin, and that makes me want to play Pikmin. Which would feel too short of a game. Yeah, I didn't finish it, so that was definitely short for me. But the art style, the art style was really good. Oh, we got a little cutscene. My PC is sold, it barely runs The Sims, or maybe that's my fault for having too many MUDs. Yeah, MUDs can definitely affect your performance. Um, alright. All right, all right guys, so I think that's gonna be pretty much it PKMN does look like Pikmin. Yeah, that's always <laughs> I always see Pikmin before Pokemon uh, All right guys, thank you so much for Joining me today. That was a lot of fun, but unfortunately we have to put this to an end so I'm gonna see you tomorrow and so I'm gonna be gone from the 11th from Friday to Tuesday because I, I need to go as I said I'm gonna go to my hometown to pick up my old consoles so I'm gonna be gone for a little while but can you imagine if I forgot to save yeah I'm gonna be gone for a little while uh, I don't I'm gonna try to make like one or two videos in advance if I can but if not if if I don't post videos for three or four days I'm not dead I'm just I'm I'm just away <laughs> but I'm gonna come back so yeah have a wonderful evening or a good day everybody and hope you guys have a good lunch a good dinner a good breakfast good day good night good work good sleep and take care and be careful and yeah I'm gonna see y'all in the next stream bye bye